we're on. We're live. Welcome. This is... I hope you were glued to your seats for the last four hours uh, because we had a back-to-back -back semifinals race for Link to the Past Randomizer. SGL Speed Gaming Live 2023 for Casual Boots. Uh, we had Obscure facing off uh, uh, earlier, won his semifinal match. We just actually saw Aerie take down in Jembro. Uh, holy cow. <laughs> I'm, I was pretty exhausted just even watching the last two races. Here we are, though. Uh, these guys uh, rested up, refreshed. We are in for, uh, as we can see here, all of the marbles. We have Obscure Life Form facing off against Arier in the grand finals of SGL Link to the Past Randomizer. Uh, absolute titans of this game. Cannot wait in order to see uh, this incredibly high uh, caliber match. I am Claire Mouse. Joined with me, of course, is uh, the one and the only Korik, also a fellow participant of this tournament earlier. Uh, this is going to be a great time. Tracking for stuff uh, is Stump. That's uh, actually off screen, but it's going to be a great time. You see the wave. <laughs> Korik, how, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this matchup. Uh, Ari, you know, he's been around the community for a long time. There's probably nobody that's more respected in the community than him. Uh, he is just a fantastic runner of the vanilla oh, yeah. game and also just an amazing rando player. And uh, a person, just an amazing uh, person. That's very true. Mm -hmm. And Obscure is a newer than Ari. Uh, he's, he's been around a while himself. Uh, <laughs> you know, he, he came up really big over the past year. Um, winning the main tournament, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah. this was 2022. 2022, right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, he's definitely well-established himself. Uh, two top runners of the game, uh, pretty hype finish here, and uh, can't be more excited. Oh, heck yeah, and, and actually, uh, these, I know for a fact that we, uh, if there happens to be, you know, some locations that are strictly, well, soft boots locked, uh, that, you know, may or may not, you know, have a, suggestion as to uh, maybe we should you know get a hook shot or something like that we might be hearing a lot of controller clacking because uh, both obscure and airy has absolutely proven themselves in the semifinals race to be able to cross all barriers uh, without the need of anything else other than the our starting equipment uh, we can see in this case we've got a sword we've got boots uh, we've got a har modified hard item pool you know for casual boots uh, hard, of course, you know, being the intention. We've certainly seen these guys go through an immense amount of trepidation. Uh, obviously, uh, did quite a bit uh, in order to basically get here to the finals. Um, speaking of the, uh, speaking, of, well, let's talk about maybe uh, a bit of their track record. Actually, since you know, being an SGL, uh, certainly it's free for all. You know, anyone who comes to the tournament. Um, very thankful, by the way, for Obscure flying all the way from across the pond or swimming. I mean, fish do that, I guess. You know, uh, and. So, Ari, uh, coming over here all the way from Germany, uh, he has not dropped. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, that was a loud echo. Uh, okay, all right, well, back. He has not dropped uh, a single game uh, as since he's entered the tournament. Um, as part of his groups, he uh, has gone 5 0. Um, and obviously, here is, he is in here in the finals uh, because the brackets, of course, are a set of best of one. Uh, obscure. Uh, actually uh, just eked his way in into the brackets. He was part of a three-way tie for second. And uh, he won the tiebreaker race with a big play in race, and here we are, you know? Um, he has just been tearing up the bracket ever Woo! since. Let's go! Yep. <laughs> oh, and we're starting off with the flippers yeah. and leads oh. <laughs> You can already, it's one of the best parts, you know, about being here at SGL. You get to hear the entire reaction of the audience. You know, I, I believe, even though the runners are uh, listening to, in this case, like white noise, you know, through their headsets, you, you know, you might get a glimpse, maybe a sense of, you know, when uh, some strong reactions happen, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, it blocks out most of the noise, but you can definitely tell if there's a large audience reaction. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's, it's, been, it's been fun. Okay. All right. So, all right. We have gone through the... <laughs> First sets of screens already. I'm really glad to see you know these guys uh, have solidarity. Normally, you know, these types of bonks are you know uh, not characteristic of both of the area and obscure. But you know what? If you're gonna bonk, you know, and the other person's right there with you, uh, you know, uh, it's it's all even. Uh, we're, we're just not gonna be able to maybe see the, uh, the 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 sub five escape might be a bit more in, in danger. Yeah, uh, probably not gonna see a sub five, but I still expect some really great escape times from these mm -hmm. runners. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. You know, Airy. Uh, I think um, not. As, I don't. I don't remember actually quite when this was, but I think when SGL was kind of first introduced, um, I think he and Thelane and Jam uh, did a uh, 10 s escape. So basically, just do the escape sequence 10 times, and then you know, just see how it is based on the equipment that you get. Airy did not drop a single gig, you know, versus these uh, two incredibly other top, uh, very skilled runners, you know. So Airy knows the things about execution. Just saying, with some boots. <laughs> yes, he, he put some time into learning uh, and figure out the best strats for every room in casual boots escape, and uh, just pay attention because if you want to learn them he'll be showing them off right oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And part of it, of course, is, you know, being able to read the enemy RNG um, because, you know, sometimes they'll think uh, people, people, enemies, are a bit friendlier, you know, and, of course, they're not actually, you know, the, the enemy minion RNG is not seated between, so we are actually going to get some probably different enemy, you know, patterns. Uh, and so sometimes uh, Aerie can get luckier, Obscure can get it luckier, you know, we're going to have to see. But, you know, that is part of the game, right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, there are several screens where enemies can get in the way of your dash lines, um, but you know, you, part of the game is definitely figuring out how to adapt to that mm -hmm. and not losing much time. Mm -hmm. Now, I would actually maybe even venture to say that this might be one of the few uh, maybe areas where you know Aerie might be considered an under. Oh, we got a hammer. Okay, well we got a hammer already. You know, early hammer, uh, always great to see. Miss Dark World access and late hammer. Probably not the most preferred, you know, method of uh, Dark World entry, you know, uh, or or seed, you know, for for random runners. So I've been told. Yeah, yeah, late hammer, you can often end up with some pretty terrible options like hammerless ice, hammerless pod, etc. <laughs> so getting that early hammer helps mm -hmm. uh, making your options throughout the seed a little bit better. Um, so I'm sure our runners are happy to see that. Oh yeah, yeah, and of course it, it is uh, also a stronger permanent weapon. You know, it does do temperate sword damage. So we, you know, these blue guards are no longer going to be an issue for us. That being said, apparently our eyesight has gotten significantly worse uh, when using the hammer because it is a very large, you know, uh, blunt object. Has a very big hip. Well, we think it's a big hitbox, but no, it's actually you know pretty pretty high high variable. So you know, a high risk high reward, right? But until then, you know, uh, we can't actually do anything with the hammer with boots at least for the time being. We're going to go stick with our trust fighter sword that yes we did get it from our uncle and yes it wasn't visible uh, when we actually left our house <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, the hammer is a powerful but pretty inconsistent weapon um, you can definitely get better with using it but uh, you'd rather have a tempered sword oh, by far <laughs> I did hear that uh, according to uh, some people named Jem uh, another you know very uh, talented casual boost runner uh, the, the tempered sword is automatic is the Omega playableness of casual boost mode so <laughs> yes that, that is very true <laughs> So actually, if you had the hammer before uh, Ball and Chain Guard, could you actually save some time with it? Yeah, sure. Uh, you just need two hits. Uh, As opposed to eight, like eight slash. Exactly. Okay. Um, you can certainly uh, clink on him if you don't have the setup right, but it's still going to be faster. OK, sounds good. All right, so OK, so we had the hammer pre a Ball and Chain Guard, pre Zelda. Uh, then we could potentially you know, maybe save that sub five. But uh, until then. Uh, maybe we're just going to have to use, you know, our, our good old dash line so far. You know, looking pretty clean so far. Uh, you know, we got, you know, Aerie getting the key dash. Uh, the key rats also, you know, behaving quite well, despite that there are uh, no fire rot or bombos threats, you know, in order to make it behave. Have we picked up a map yet, out of curiosity? <laughs> I wasn't actually paying attention. Me neither. And that's well, just like when I uh, picked <laughs> one up earlier in the, uh, you know, tournament here. Okay. You, you know, you just open it. You, you just don't want to, like... <laughs> I don't know. Seeing the unopened escape or sanctuary chest more than once is that's really true. stressful. That's true. It, it is actually you know quite taken aback, right? You know, in Rando especially. Well, Aerie doesn't usually open maybe the sank chest in NMG. You know, if he's oh, doing PB pace. Uh, oh, really? Uh, all right. We did not get the map. We are running past. That all right, was I'm a in, blazing huh? escape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how did how did we do that? I think the timer might have started a little. You know bit what? Late. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So or we, we actually, got a 455. I was going to say, way, I, that actually that looked like amazing. the official 455, unofficial, sorry, uh, 455. Doesn't matter actually when you start the timer. Uh, you know, we'll just brush that little detail, you know, under the rug. Uh, we are also seeing something I have not seen um, until maybe probably more recently in actually just today. We are actually not getting a lumberjack check. Uh, from Obscure, going uh, straight over to Lost Woods. Uh, Airy actually looking like, uh, we're going to take a more the more commonly traditional route. Um, uh, ooh, yeah, we ooh. do see a, a bomb drop from the crab, so that's very handy. Yeah. We're full on bombs, and we do see 300 rupees in Lost Woods, so we have enough money to 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Early money, especially in casual boots, uh, especially actually even now, more so with the flippers, uh, that the money situation actually might come, you know, just a little bit more premium because you really actually want to go check Zora, right? Um, yeah, isolating Zora is a, you know, terrible location to go back to. So if you have bad early flippers, you definitely want to get that 500 rupees. And, you know, if we end up in Aga, you want to have 600 so you can, <laughs> yeah, don't have to true. skip pot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like, yeah, it's actually kind of like a... Yeah. Well, I guess money can always solve, you know, the, uh, any problem you have, just throw more money at it, right? And then, you know, you're, you're good to go. Uh, it always is, as you said, you know, kind of like, it's a, not a great situation. It's very awkward. If you were able to afford Zora, I think it's on your last, like, world chase, you go do Ag, and you're like, hmm, I don't have enough money to go uh, open a pod, and then you have to go kind of somewhere else. Oh, we're from our first map check. That's pretty good. Uh, I did see a um, PRNG-ish uh, green pendant desert, uh, at least for Aries Seed. Last time it wasn't green pendant, but the Moon Pearl was on pendant Lamo. Uh, other than that, uh, we're just going to go through. It looks like, uh, of course, Obscura skipping out on Lumberjack. He is going to get a slight head start on Airy, clearing out Kakariko. Kind of yeah. nothing to write home about, though. Yeah, nothing here in Blind Sub, but we still have quite a few checks to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the fact that, okay, so Obscura does have a reasonable number of bombs, I was going to say. Um, but the fact that Aerie actually did have a 8-bomb uh, pickup from the Crab actually is like a very, very comfortable bomb count. We don't have to, okay, we're just going to get more bombs here. You know what? Obscure doesn't have to go check the Ruby Crab at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you usually end up getting quite a few uh, bombs in Kakariko, it seems, but only when you already have some. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's true. Bombs, <laughs> you get more bombs. Yeah, it's, it's only ever an issue when you have zero and you just literally, like, the entire village is just completely dry for you. Yeah, and I guess we were miss. We, we did miss the <laughs> lamp in Blind Side. Yeah, that's so. true. That's true. Uh, but you know what? Yeah. Who you know who didn't miss the lamp? Our tracker stump. All right, yeah. we see this like completely lit up here. Uh, all right. Well, okay. So we have a cave and we have the lamp. Um, speaking of uh, uh, Korak, how are you feeling about Ak? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously we're not rushing it or anything, are but you, are you it's sure? certainly on the table as the potential required dark world okay. access. Um, you know, we're we're a ways away from that right now, but it. Something to keep an eye on for sure. Okay. Right, you know what? Okay. I have also been told maybe like once you have the pearl, maybe you know the 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 sensors start kind of going overload as opposed to you know maybe this is kind of like, like a mild you know orange setting, right? Because yeah, I guess like without the without the pearl, you don't really have much options, you know, other than maybe check pyramid and that's kind of it, right? Yeah. I, since we have the early uh, cape and lamp, some runners will modify the route slightly to be more uh, you know complete, like such as going for. Uh, Agina after dam instead of, uh, you know, going right like most runners do. Mm -hmm, for Mini Moldarum into for, South Shore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we also have that bow now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you know how, how about we found a book? You know, I'm, I'm just I mean, I'm just, I'm technically just speaking, <laughs> like, we're a pearl away from pod being in full logic. So yeah. uh, That's actually true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that lamp, uh, certainly, it, okay, it does act as uh, our fire source exclusively so far. Uh, it does, of course, open up all the dark rooms and logic. These guys are, I mean, certainly more than good enough in order to do the dark rooms uh, without the lamp. However, uh, probably given this health loadout, uh, you know, the lamp is, is a very, very strong safety. And certainly, uh, I would actually even go to Venture and say that, you know, especially when Aerie has been doing other, like, like spuff, like, lower percent spoiler lock stuff, uh, the lamp is probably, like, one of his best, uh, his considered one of his best safeties. Yeah, so. and Obscure here, uh, I think his plan was to go to Eastern, and he has a custom of checking the Lake Hilly Island when he goes there, and he might have forgotten he had the flippers. Obscure so now, should always remember uh, if he has the flippers, because yeah. he's a fish, all right? <laughs> I, I feel like this is one of like the basic fundamental things, you know, as if you're using a fish sprite. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's still going to go to Eastern after this. I will. S oh, oh, well, okay. uh, you know what? Uh, fortune smiles upon though, uh, about, upon happy accents. It's like, he's like Bob Ross, you know? Yeah, uh, that, <laughs> that is something. Um, uh, uh, well, we we got we suddenly got Dark World access. Forget about Eastern Palace, or maybe uh, we're going Eastern anyway. Yeah, you know? he's still going to Eastern, uh, <laughs> but that is very interesting. Um, makes you know going to Aga a more interesting play to maybe get a leg up on Aerie, uh, mm -hmm. but it could also throw your seed in the first 15 minutes. So probably not the best decision, but it's on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I think, you know, at least, well, I don't, I don't know how much these guys are going to meta against each other, but, you know, if you maybe think that Aerie is going to go do something, maybe you don't want to necessarily miss out on, like, a Sphere 1 or Sphere, you know, 0, like, early type of checks, uh, especially if, you know, you've got Dark World access. The entirety of the Dark World, right, in this case, is open up to you. You have a lot more options and kind of, 
of like the, the, the prospect of going back to something that was, well, earlier in the sphere logic, maybe it's going to be less appealing. So you don't want to necessarily miss out on something very important and kind of come back to it, you know, kind of as the last location 20 minutes later. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, our runners have a lot of options, but right now they're both clearing a crystal dungeon that's in front of them that they mm -hmm. can full clear. Very common, you know, ordering here, uh, getting a bow in Kakariko with Crystal Eastern. Most <laughs> of the time you'll see people come here, especially in this mode because you already have the sword and boots. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But to put Eastern, well, fully clear bowl, I mean, Okay, like to fully clear about Eastern, you do need technically the lamp or the fire rod, uh, depending maybe on where that big key is, and of course you do need the bow. But like I said, you know, these guys are more than capable of being able to do Eastern dark rooms, and so uh, if we have the bow, right, we're going to be able to clear out this crystal. It is, uh, I think it was, I want to say it was a 5-6. Um, um, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm misremembering. We don't know where the other one is, but that is going to be uh, another probably like uh, progress bar into Pyramid Fairy. So certainly even more incentive to come here. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was a 5-6. Uh, I don't know if we've seen a match check from Obscure, so maybe we'll okay, find yeah, out later. Okay, yeah, we can trust uh, but verify here. Uh, certainly, I, I think I want to say both of them did a map check, but I guess I don't remember. So but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, we're gonna, are we going to have to go to the big chest today? Uh, my guess is yes. <laughs> Oh, or or not, you know that's that's fine. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's skipping the vanilla big key in Eastern Palace has never hurt anyone, especially those who have sworn at Dark Link's price. Never, never. I mean, it's a very <laughs> common play. Uh, uh, I should say very, but a, a lot of top runners do it. It's a 50-50, and, you know, it's just one check. What could go wrong? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's just one check. Uh, the the reward, though, for not having to go visit Eastern Hollow's Big Key Chest is that it, it, well, it takes about, uh, let's say, a minute right around then? It, it is very lengthy check, yeah. Um, count up the rooms here, but <laughs> there's quite a few of them. Uh, we can mm -hmm. we can just count along as Obscure goes through uh, Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, okay. Well, we're already on one. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even need a compass this time because I've got fingers, right? This You can see this. All right. So this is two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of counting, uh, we're going to see uh, what is starting to be look like an incredibly pretty fight uh, on Aerie's side. We got uh, one extra arrow maybe on the uh, on the wall. A couple extra arrows in the last Armos. Uh, uh, we do see, though, that it looks like Obscure is going to head it over to the last item of Eastern Palace. That being said, it doesn't have to be a good item. It's just an item. So Correct, but this is a really early divergence that could mm -hmm. have ramifications, or it could just be 10 arrows. It could be ah, the bug net. Okay, okay. I tried. I tried. You did. You did. <laughs> I will say, though, because, okay, so uh, for the SGL settings, because it's a modified hard item pool, um, we don't have any bottles yet, but uh, any bottles we're going to get are going to come completely empty and not only that we're only going to get two of them uh, so any safeties that you're i kind of kind of looking for potions fairies bees can I'm be maybe a, a safety yeah. in, a, in, a, in a pinch uh you're gonna have to go consciously go get and the bu and the bug is actually you know actually a little bit uh, stronger powered in this case yeah definitely i think the best safety in this mode is a blue male but um or temper sword yeah, well, Tempered Sword <laughs> is in self and safety. That, that is very true. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, having a bottle, uh, you're probably not going to fill it in most situations unless you go to something like Waterfall Cave. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, having the option to use the bug net to get a ferry in certain locations definitely can be very oh, useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually, yeah, well, you know what? I was even, you know, I was even thinking like maybe we can delay South Shore just just a tad. You know, maybe we got a little bit of extra money. Uh, it's just three hundreds here sitting in, you know, the sunken treasure. Looks like though, Aerie, because he hasn't, uh, whatever, you know, motivated obscure in order to go get the moon pearl off of Hobo. Uh, he doesn't have that knowledge yet. So he, from his perspective, because he even didn't get anything out of Eastern Palace, uh, might still be an Agassi. So actually, yeah. I think you described this earlier, right? Maybe kind of loop in Agina uh, with the damn check. Yeah, you know, if you think it's going to be the case. You know, the number of checks Aerie has left he, and the items that he has gotten, the cape, the lamp, uh, mm -hmm. it, it is oh, yeah. certainly Master hinting sword. to yeah. potentially being Aga, so leaving, you know, as few loose ends as possible, although he does have one loose end yeah. in Eastern. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, 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 already, it's already been thrown out. Uh, but that, yes. that check doesn't exist to us anymore. <laughs> um, although, okay, so given, I guess, that we don't have the flute, but we do have the flippers, like, do you know if there's, like, a good, non-awkward way to check like both Zora and Hobo? Do we just have to swim up to Hobo and then swim back? Like, uh, is, is that the way to only the way to do it? If you want to check both, you would use the water walk to get to Hobo and then you kind of just have to swim, swim back. back. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's that's, not great. That's, but. that's very disappointing. Like a, a flute would be really nice because you could use the shallow water to kind of flute back, but that's, that, that's sad. It, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Hobo is a very terrible check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well actually it looks like obscure. Okay. 
Salma, I know, I know we, we actually just talked about maybe a runner's kind of combining uh, the dam with Agena. You know, if you think it's an Agassiz, Obscura certainly knows that it's at least. We've got Dark World Axe on his side. Uh, he has in the past been known to skip the dam, for what it's worth, uh, more commonly than not. And so we might be kind of witnessing those. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a high variance decision to leave behind the dam. And I mean, again, is a little bit less high variance because that's a very commonly skip location. Mm -hmm, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it, it is a play, and he could just be like, oh, I'll just combo that with Swamp when I get there, That you know? is, uh, I believe that is the common mentality, yes. Uh, it, uh, it's certainly a risky play, it, but... It, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, Obscure is a main tournament winner. Uh, you've had to win uh, an insane number of matches in order to get that title. Uh, not only that, of course, you know, among you know many of the Acolytes. So, you know... Uh, these guys must, you know, at least you know, know something like what they're doing, you know, to some extent. Oh no, right? I mean, it's it's a very valid play. Uh, you know, it, if it's if it's right, you definitely save a, oh, yeah. a lot, lot of time. But <laughs> just always be right. Just always yeah. go to your progression. Just always find the right things in the right order. That, that Easy. Is how that you that, win, that is how random. Sure. That is how random works. You know. Uh, oh, and you yeah, finish before your opponent. Yeah, that's that's the other you know detail in the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. and we are seeing these checks from Obscure. Uh, Aerie going to get his Moon Pearl here momentarily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so right now it looks like, so Aerie is going to get to his pearl. Ooh, we have a fire rod here in Waterfall Fairy. Um, I think that we're going to go do our map check in Dark World immediately, oh, because we already have, uh, if, if Skull Wizards is a crystal, everybody wins, you know? Yeah, well, we can't <laughs> quite get there quite yet, um, because we would need the glove or the hookshot. Oh, hook right, shot. right. But, we would need a uh, glove. Okay, I did forget about the glove. What that fire rod does do is make several of the rooms in Aga Tower even better than the bow does, so that should oh, that's true. Make Unless we that find a little bit faster. Well, that's, okay. that's true. I have well. to, yeah, at some point we've seen Aga Tower cleared out with silver arrows, and I'm like, holy cow, that's... <laughs> you can kill a lot of things very quickly with one silver. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think collectively we Is have seen then? everything. You're um, right, yeah. So, see if Obscure cleans up or if he'll if go, go north to the here. Dam? Okay, he looks like he is cleaning up. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think he'll just do the dam and then, you know, once in this case he gets Masters? I guess it doesn't really open up much, right? I mean, he'll have one check left in the entire light world. I'd be shocked if he skipped it, but, you know, we've seen crazier things. That's true. So. <laughs> That's true. And, of course, this is, uh, this is best of one finals, you know? So... You, I don't know. I, if, if you make a position or take a take a stance early, you've got a lot more game to make up, right? So I don't know. Maybe if you want to take a risk. I mean, Aerie, we certainly see Ari skip out on Vanilla Biggie Chest in Easter Palace. Um, I think that check is just uh, at least marked off his map at this, you know, this yeah. point. He, if he, right now, he's going to go do Aga, pretty much. Exactly. And obviously, Aerie's execution is on another level, but... You know, the majority of the difference here between Obscure and Airy is Airy skipping that uh, chest. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is a quite sizable advantage if it has if nothing required. If it works required. out, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I don't think Airy actually scouted Desert Ledge. Um, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts here? Like, we don't have the book or anything. Obscure certainly is also not scouting it. You think it's worth scouting if you're going to come from the, left, the, the right hand side? I generally don't. Uh, if you have a reason to, uh, you know, y you've. I don't know. Uh, it's not a good reason. It's, it's I'm trying to come up with a reason. <laughs> All right, There's okay. Not. All right, you know it what? takes too much time. Yeah, no, no. I, 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 th know. I think it's perfectly reasonable. You know, as you said, you know, like the, the, the amount of time that you are allowed to, or you, you want to be able to afford your opponent, I mean, I, optimally is zero, right? But yeah. at some point, you have to be able to give up a little bit of time, take some investments, right, for, let's say, potential knowledge, um, for potential coverage. And, and, you know, if that's not going to be, you know, worth, like, uh, anything, like, it's not going to be worth enough value to you. Um, you should just, you know, you should, you should just go back and find it later. Right. It, it's, it's more about, about uh, you know, what would it get you? Like, mm -hmm. what you're hoping is that there's something that makes the routes more efficient, and one of the first items you get is a book or something. And mm -hmm. it's just... It's just not worth it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I certainly I certainly do agree with that. You're talking about, by the way, Ares execution kind of on another level. Uh, he's going through Dark Maze and Aga Tower. Uh, not only did he, like, slash his sword to wake everybody up, he still apparently didn't get hit. Uh, everyone still just ignored him. <laughs> or he just snuck through everybody so quickly. I mean, it's just, like, it's, it's stuff that you really, like, this is pretty, well, okay, maybe you get a little bit more health and you don't have a Fire Rod, but still, like, Master Sword, uh, Bow, you know, uh, this is like pretty comfortable equipment here, at least for Aerie. Obscure, also just kind of making his motions through Dark Maze. 
He does not have sword beam, or he does not have full health, so maybe he uh, won't be as loud uh, in this case, you know, as uh, as Aerie was. Yeah, Airy actually having a little trouble in circled pots. Oh, That's, no. Uh, uh, uncharacteristic. Yeah, very uncharacteristic. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and we're seeing oh, no. some head shakes here. Uh, <laughs> definitely not uh, yeah. what Airy expects going through Aga mm -hmm. Tower, but, you know, so sometimes okay. it just happens. There are happens. no splits here, Airy. There's no timer. <laughs> Don't worry. Just have fun. Play your game, you know. This is not a speed run, but you know it's it's okay. All right, okay. So we have gone to the, well, the the fixed portion uh, of the tower. We unfortunately have no hook shot, so we can't actually get uh, really any camera photos or you know shots for the Hall of Fame. Uh, but you know, I I think walking distance that's not bad, right? Uh, maybe I we mean, maybe we pumped a couple extra you know pixels over there. I mean that's basically where you're gonna <laughs> end up because when you don't have spin speed, you just mm -hmm. char start charging your dash, yeah. and however far you oh, get in no. the charge, you get. Okay, that's fine. All right, Obscure maybe had a little bit more of a panic attack and Circle of the Pots as well. Uh, the boomerang didn't quite work the way that he probably wanted to, but we're fine. Uh, two and a half hours going into Aga, or at least uh, the catwalk. Hopefully it should be okay. I mean, obviously the biggest danger is falling, but um, I have I have confidence that this fish knows not only how to fly, but uh, he also knows how to dash and stay on the platform. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that would be uh, quite... Yeah, the, the mental and physical toll uh, if something bad were to happen in that room. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, we haven't seen much by way of blue balls Well, yet. that's great because I was really trying to stall for time. Yeah. And it looks like uh, Aga is actually going to be very kind to him for today. This is zero blue balls, right? I, I believe so. Oh, well, that thank was you. Uh, quite nice. I didn't even need any compasses. This is great, you know? Like, no math. <laughs> that's the perfect kind of seed. <laughs> so we'll probably see an early map check here. You're right. Oh, okay. We got Pendant Desert. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, pen, uh, I'm sorry, Pendant Desert. Uh, it's called Pendant Thieves Town. That's what I yeah, missed. We do have a <laughs> red crystal here dead. in Pod. Okay. So, right. Aerie might elect just to go straight there. Uh, not having the mirror, it's a little bit unfortunate for Pod. So, he might also try to see if he can spike that mirror out of uh, Hype Cave or any of these south checks. Yeah, interesting. I, I mean, so I think this actually, this, the situation happened, I think, uh, in a previous, I think, what, semis or maybe quarterfinal seed before, where it was dark, uh, it was Aga Access, uh, and we had a fully clearable crystal pod. Uh, both runners ended up going to pod directly, um, but, and then they was either uh, pretty lucky in finding the mirror, but I think the other option, right, was to, if you can go to Hi Pipe Cave and the mirror is here, you can certainly make your pod trip a little bit more, you know, efficient, as you're kind yeah. of mentioning. Uh, or we can just avoid Hype Cave altogether, like we obviously didn't need any of this stuff. Yeah, I mean, the vast majority of the time, you're going to be saving and quitting after south, the south route and after pod. So it really doesn't matter what order you do with them if you don't get any progression. But there are some pieces of progression that make pod a lot faster. Okay. So okay. Well, uh, it, does, it does make some sense. Now, you could also get mitts in pod and open up your options on this route as well. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, well, it looks like then you know, Obscure is actually headed straight over to Pod. Um, we are not even going to be on the left-hand side of the screen or to go down to Hype Cave. Ooh, we got our first bottle, speaking of. But it looks like Ares may be more doing a, I want to say, more traditional Dark World uh, Dark World entry move. Uh, you know, assuming you have, in this case, like the glove and stuff. Uh, but we're going to do Hype Cave into Stumpy into Dick Game. I hope it's a lot of digs, personally, uh, because it's actually really <laughs> nice MSU. Uh, but, you know, uh, we, we can't control, in this case, how many digs this is. <laughs> See, actually, see, there's another great thing about SGL. You see Aerie jamming out to the tunes. <laughs> this is great. Thank you, Aerie. This is, oh, okay. All right, well, it was it was long enough. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at the All same right, time, okay. we see Obscure going in the pod. Yeah. So this is a crystal dungeon, five items, a, also a red crystal, which would give us five, six, although uh, I guess we have access. We can just go down and get it. So uh, oh. could, yeah. Actually, w that, this actually might be pretty nice then for Obscure, right? If we can actually just get the 5-6 Crystal and then just go straight over to, like, do Hype Cave into Pyramid Fairy? I mean, you could, but at that point, you'd be isolating Stumpy and Dig Game. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's certainly an option, though. There's You're isolating some checks no matter what you do in this okay. game. Yeah, so, that's very fair. Uh, that, that's certainly efficient. Yeah, okay, okay. And I think that maybe that makes some sense, right? For Aerie to kind of go to Hype Cave into Stumpy and uh, in Dig Game. Kind of alongside. Then, when you go into Village of Outcast, eventually, like you don't have this now awkward decision about, well, after I feel and finish Thieves Town or that area, do I go north into Skull Woods or do I go step further south? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. that that totally makes sense. Yeah, we we do need to get some sort of progression soon, though. Uh, we've collectively seen, you know. I, I did hear. I did hear. Pod, pod has. Yeah, I did hear the pod has a lot of checks. Pod uh, does have five items and the Pyramid Fairy, so you know we'll, we could see the glove. We could see a hook shot. Um, 
glove is obviously something that you'd probably want a little bit more, but, you know. I guess a glove or two would have to show eventually, right? That uh, would, uh <laughs> you, you will definitely need two gloves at some point. Okay, well, that's good. Well, Ashio, so speaking of uh, potential, I was thinking, like, uh, we, you know, we'll find eventually the gloves and the mitts. Kind of looking at our pendants, right? We do see, actually, that Meyer is one of the other pendant dungeons. Uh, in order to, you know, we were kind of talking about maybe, you know, scouting Desert Ledge and getting Desert Palace entry. You know, that that flute may not show up, honestly. Yeah, we might not never get a flute. We might mm -hmm. never get a book. We don't need anything in that area, technically, unless, you know, required prog progression for our crystals is over there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it might be a pretty tough travel seed for a while or for the whole thing. The the good news is that we do get a mirror, right? Hopefully, not Gomon. That would be kind of nice, yeah. Well, I mean, go mode mirror is actually not not bad because that means you don't have to do all the terrible mirror checks okay, like graveyard fair, ledge fair. And, and what have you. Oh, and no. you can, you know. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. That's Aerie. beautiful. Oh my god. Did you beautiful. see? Beautiful. Airy, like, okay, that is already one of the most difficult hovers of the game. You actually see how many times Airy had to like turn in this case. But not only that, he was like on the wrong pixels and he recovered. Like, this is how consistent he is. You know, uh, when he like we saw basically how good he was last game, he is absolutely warmed up for this. Yeah, that, that was an amazing hover. Yeah. On obscure side, we are seeing the dark maze, and yeah, still like nothing. Yeah. Too important. It's okay. We we still have the rest of the backup pod, but he doesn't do rupee basement yet, right? I think. Correct. He he, he bomb jumped, so you know with no mirror, um, this will be able to route in Helma a lot better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was actually wondering in this case, like if you because you don't have the mirror, kind of is this kind of more like dynamic routing, or is there like just kind of like a better route in this case to try and route this mirrorless, so you don't have to keep death warping? Yeah, exactly. You just avoid having the death warp. Uh, and I, I think if you have a mirror, it really doesn't matter which way you do it, but th this is certainly uh, more efficient in this case. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, were, you, see, you kind of mentioned you know, the, the travel, uh, whether it's inter-dungeon, whether it's overworld, uh, will be probably you know, a bit more uh, challenging. Uh, this, all of this routing uh, in travel time really does add up. You know, it's, it's kind of like uh, every single save and quit now, you know, uh, costs significant more time than you might think it is. Uh, running to different locations, maybe versus saving quitting versus something else. Maybe uh, versus <laughs> which order you do things in uh, suddenly has a lot more <laughs> of an impact. Uh, Ari uh, is ready to, uh, we don't need a bridge, okay? All right, okay. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to have to go through the regular route. Yeah, that's I'm not a sure little rough, because um, now, he, yeah, he, <laughs> he's at that one heart. I mean, he'll just do the death warp route, but I don't know if that will give him a refill. It looks like he already has six hearts, so I, he maybe won't get the refill that Obscure got. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that, that, that is possible. Um, I don't actually think there was, yeah, but you know what? Uh, yeah, the, the benefit, of course, Aerie making <laughs> that attempt uh, is that, yes, in this case, death warping is uh, instantaneous. <laughs> Yeah, he does have to be careful. Like sometimes you can get sniped in that dark maze before you know it. So uh, th that that is true. That's why we have the lamp. Uh, ho hopefully, <laughs> we'll be able to catch all of the dangers that come lurking. Uh, ooh, we have a cape. Good use here of uh, of the safety item. Yeah, very smart. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what <laughs> I was talking about there. Yeah. But nice recovery. Oh for yeah. Sure. Uh, man, I sometimes wish that would be. Man, not used to always seeing like Aries like reaction, but this is like this is like one of the best times, you know, to be able to see this. Uh, basically, just how, uh, how. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, he has safely made it to the book. book. Okay. Oh, oh, we saw that obscure side. Okay. Oh um. yeah, missed that. <laughs> so we do have desert access. We also got a mushroom in here. We um, did. We did. Remember so how we were talking about having a flute would be really nice uh, for travel? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so Wouldn't it be nice to have a flute? We're going to have three <laughs> options after this. We have Pyramid Fairy, Mushroom, and Desert. Uh, you know, they're, they're all decent checks. It's just without yeah. travel, they all kind of take a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah, and they're, but, and they're, they're not even really that, that comboable, right? Because they're kind of in like different portions of the world. So you right. kind of have to, in this case, like make a decision. You can't really kind of like hedge your bets in this case, right? Yeah, you, you just have to go one at a time and probably, you know, you probably won't even do the ones that you don't choose, um, at least for a while. 
So that could also be oh. something that gets interesting. Okay, uh, so I mean, man, is, is there, do you think there's going to be any amount of like metagaming going on, right? As in, like, hmm, I think a, I think my opponent will go to this location, or are you just going to kind of like player games? Like, I think this is going to be the best decision for me, and they just kind of go. I would expect they will do the options until they get a you know a good progression item like the hookshot or a glove. Um, so like, if something such as like a medallion or the ice rod was in one of the other ones, that could be potentially interesting going down the road mm -hmm. if their opponent does them in a different order. Um, I think Obscure might do the South Dark World at this point. Okay, so basically going into Dark World, right, so we did, right, uh, you, yes, you, you mentioned this like two minutes ago, so we have, we found a book uh, and we found a mushroom. The mushroom certainly can turn into something, but right now we still don't have immediate Dark World access. Or we, I mean, like, we have, we have our Aga Portal, but we still are looking for uh, a, a glove or, or something right. else, basically. Right, we can't access the Death Mountain, we can't mm -hmm. access West Dark World. Uh, we're still very limited in what we can do at this time. Yeah. All right, so yes. Uh, right, Air, uh, Obscure had finished off Helma, uh, gotten his second crystal, uh, which is 5-6. So yeah, uh, we're going to basically s see him hopefully survive the outside of uh, Hype Cave in order to make it through. Harry has a very sketch uh, situation oh. here. Um, we are on green mail, huh? Good job, yeah. Barry. I approve of this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, one yeah. hit KO mode for Helmasaur. Uh, Aerie is a, certainly a very talented, accomplished NMG runner. That being said, when you are uh, one hit away from death on Helmasaur without anything, I mean, uh, he yeah. will kill you regardless of how good you are. I mean, it was very similar to an NMG uh, Helma. Mm -hmm. um, basically without the same equipment right? and the same yeah. parts for Aerie. Not, not for us yeah. other mortals, <laughs> yeah. but um, that is the number right. of parts that Aerie is used to fighting him mm -hmm. with. So. Yeah, very, very good usage of the cape uh, for Airy in pod, though, because, I mean, you actually see in this case, you certainly can play probably less aggressive, maybe less in your comfort zone if you're on one hit KOs, but like Dark Maze on Helma. But in order to be able to, you know, react properly, pull out the cape just in case, right, if something goes wrong, I mean, dying is like three minutes worth of death, right, or, you know, time loss, right, as opposed to, uh, well, maybe, you know, just a couple extra seconds, you know, uh, activating the cape, yeah. for example. It looks like Airy is running out in order to do Pyramid Fairy. Obscure has just not like done NMG, Stumpy man. and uh, <laughs> did gain in mm -hmm. order to do Pyramid Fairy first. So we'll see what ha we have here. This is just like NMG. <laughs> yep. He is, is like a screen for screen. This is this is why Aries practice so much. Uh, <laughs> these screens have been completely, you know, uh, well practiced and optimized for him. Ooh, speaking of safety, that actually is really nice. Would have been nice for Helmosaur. Uh, we have blue mail. That is the maximum armor upgrade we can get in this mode. Um, we haven't gotten the maximum sword upgrade yet, which is I think both, you know, very much. Uh, Desired for both airy and obscure, which is our, of course our tempered sword. But for now, at least you know we can at least do some color coordination. You know. Oh yeah, no, okay. uh, I, I think both of them doing pyramid fairy first makes a lot of sense. Uh, but surprisingly, not a progression. So it has to be either desert palace with that green pendant as well, or the mushroom. So uh, obscure going backtracking down here for stumpy and big mm -hmm. game. Airy yeah. about to check Pyramid Fairy, and then we'll see which order they do these checks in. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of suspect that they'll do Mushroom first. It's much better than committing to kill Penda Lamo, Lamo but... Oh, oh we also have it. a bottle, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's, that's a great reminder. That's also a Thank you, terrible Sophia. option. Uh, Remember when we asked about the flute, Korek? Yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to have a flute to do any of these things? We can flute to six that we don't have. Uh, yeah. We can flute to two that we don't have. We flute to four. Or sorry, three that we also don't have. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's okay. a bunch of pretty rough options right now. Mm -hmm. I think Aerie, yeah, he'll, he'll be do the bonk. Uh, because well, he has he, flippers? He has yeah, flippers? He's the fake, fake flipper. <laughs> okay, um, all right, so fine. You know what? Uh, the bonk worked. Uh, everything's good. Aerie should get a good fish strat, sprite. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Keep in mind, by the way, this is the grand finals of SGL. We are playing <laughs> live on stage. These guys are elevated. You can, they actually can, they can't see really much of each other, right? Uh, but they can also, you know, uh, they know that there's a crowd and a lot of people here watching. Uh, you know, things happen uh, when you're live here. They're not necessarily used to your, uh, you know, like normal setup. Uh, you probably have 50 over the different things thinking about. Uh, is that a safe scum, by the way? Is that a reset? It was definitely a safe scum. All right. Uh, <laughs> for a potential fake powder later. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. see if we end up doing that. Um, so How Aerie much money does he owe us if he fakes powder? <laughs> well, you know, it's not, uh, not my favorite check, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> it looks like Aerie is opting to head towards desert rather than check Sikid. Uh, very reasonable choice. More, uh, three items behind desert. Uh, actually, four. He doesn't know what's on the ledge. Neither do we, for oh, that matter. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So. 
Alright, it looks like Obscure that you can take this opportunity to uh, put a potion in his bottle. Yeah, and so, you know, and this is actually one of the few times maybe you actually see, uh, especially, you know, runners of this caliber actually going to consciously go buy something. I mean, certainly, yeah, if you're at the potion shop, it's very free then because you're ready to go turn in the mushroom already. Uh, we have a blue rupee on the ledge, so nothing of value there. Um, but, you know, especially in this mode, right? Uh, especially with the flute, you really, like, going to the potion shop is kind of really out of your way if you don't have anything yeah. else over there. So the good, good news is we won't be killing Lambo unless we find a glove. And if we find a glove, we still won't be killing Lambo. Um, I would it's, think. It's okay. So we have the fire rod. It's, it's I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it's probably not worth the kill. Although, how tempting is this green pen to you? Uh, not very tempting. If you get that glove, you're heading to Village of Outcasts. Uh, or, no, just, just Village of Outcasts. There's nothing else that looks attractive. Oh, would you go to Skullwoods? Oh, like, okay. I guess you would go through this, the, the yeah, Village of Outcasts yeah, that, portal, that portal, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Um, you, you would do Skullwoods first because mm -hmm. Pizones is a pendant. You'd yeah. want to have the information as to how far you want to go in there. <laughs> oh, well, well. Well, you know what? This will be really nice to combo because we're going to go over to Kakariko. We can go through from the south. We can go get Dick Spot into Sick Kid into Dark Worlds if you want to make that check. Yeah, if we get the glove. Otherwise, we might get the hook shot and have to go the terrible way. Oh, uh, true, true. You're right. Uh, <laughs> that Aga portal, of course, you know, in addition to uh, we can go to the Dark World. And yes, there even is an arrow that I think actually like on the ground that points you said you can hook shot the other way. <laughs> yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. See, the game's helping. It's trying. It is helping, though. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we get here. Um, obviously, the two options we mentioned are most likely. Uh, we could also get a mirror and have the front of Swamp available, um, as long as, as well as K45. Uh, I think. Pablo's tablet. Oh, well, there is the glow. Uh, that we're, we're out. On we're out. Side. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna probably be, as you, as you, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm predicting pretty much the same thing here on obscure side. And once we get this glove, as you said, pretty much the entirety of the, well, all of the dark worlds open to us. Uh, yeah. And so. Yeah. I think Aries gonna do the route that you said with the, uh, you know, addition going up and going to the dark world, mm -hmm. going school woods. So. Good call here. We'll get the dig spot checked. We'll get sick kid checked, and then we'll we'll see what's in school woods. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're gonna oh. go. So ooh. Obscure is running out. Ooh, yes. Uh, ooh is correct. Uh, we actually looks like we might be getting a pendant Lamos clear here on Obscure side. Uh, this does certainly look to be a very conscious decision, and uh, we can actually see in the upper left-hand corner that it is in fact a P. It stands for Prependent, not P Crystal. So uh, he very much uh, realizes this is probably going to be um, not a strict crystal progression for opening up GT. Right. I mean, this is this is a play. Um. Maybe sometimes you feel like you have to make one, you know, versus you know, if you're in the finals. No, that's what I'm thinking mm -hmm. here. So if you're in obscure shoes. This has been Do a very linear shoes? seed. Obscure shoes, yeah, fish <laughs> shoes, fish fins, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever fish wear. That's right. Um, you know, this has been a very linear seed. You've probably done exactly the same thing as Aerie, and if you know Aerie's That's a great point, execution, mm -hmm. you're probably a little bit behind. Not very much behind, honestly, um, but he is a little bit behind. So maybe he's thinking, I, I just need to make a play and hope mm -hmm. it works out. Uh, it does seem a little bit early, but if it works out, like, Boy, it could be huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, as as, uh, as we previously mentioned, right, so Meyer is a pendant. Doesn't exclude anything but being in, like, the Meyer area, like Meyer Shadow Checkerboard. Um, but we may not actually see that flute. And so if you're going to be in Desert Palace, like, this is the time to be in Desert Palace. Like, you may not be able to get a backdoor entry. And if you have to come back here, it is a very hefty time commitment because you got to go through the fronts. But all right, we've got, uh, we've got five-ish fire rod shots, maybe four. <laughs> It's the last one. All right, very yeah. nice clean up on, on Obscure side. All right, we know that there's not going to be an item because we already got both of them. We got the shovel and we got the glove, uh, but we are really after this green pendant. Yeah, that a lot of this race hinges on whatever Saha has right now. Mm -hmm. So this will be a very interesting check. Now, for what it's worth, right, like the first, what, like, four, you know, 35, 40 minutes of the season, you know, as you, as you um, very rightfully observed, it has been very linear. That being said, I do see that Turtle Rock is a crystal. I do not see an ice rod on our tracker, and I'm very sure that Stump is, you know, uh, keeping diligent eyes on all the items that our you know, runners have picked up. So, uh, I also see no medallions. This could open up quite a lot. Oh, there's, there's yeah. plenty of items that could be here that would be terrible for Aerie. Mm -hmm. uh, things that don't block much, but would be required, so... Man, it, this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
But I mean, at least so far, you know, Aerie is just playing his game. All the decisions, you know, have been certainly pretty much, you know, as as expected, uh, more or less, as maybe as much you can. Uh, we are going, you know, once we've got a Dark World access, we are heading towards our, you know, first available crystal dungeon. Nice use of the cape. I didn't even think about this. <laughs> yeah. Like, and on the obscure side, we see that Saha only had three bombs. Uh, that's unfortunate for him, but really good news for Aerie. Mm -hmm. uh, we do see obscure. It looks like he's taking the north route to the Village of Outcast portal, so won't be checking that shovel spot quite yet. Okay. I mean, I think for what it's worth, it's well, if obscure never checks this thing, um, it won't hurt him because we just said on Aerie's side that it was 20 rupees. However, uh, it might just maybe it'll be more, you know, kind of like mental, you know, me mental, mental weight. You know, for him. Mm -hmm. But we'll yeah. see. We'll see what ends up happening. You know, again, you know, if Scare doesn't always have to go, ever go check that thing. Uh, we are here in the back of Skull Woods, though. Not quite the tempered sword that we're used to. I don't know if areas run like legacy, low percent, something, something, you know, with. Or just not get tempered sword and an MG run for it. But here we are. We've got the hammer. Uh, we've got uh, the master sword. We've got a couple parts to our name. Should be fine, right? Yeah, we also have some interesting. Things happening on obscure side. Here. Ooh, ooh, interesting. But we are checking pedestal. Who cleans oh, it up? Wow. All right. We got uh, some some pretty some pretty spicy boss fights here. One for pen uh, for crystal helmetsor. One for crystal moth. But you know, Ari Ari's a survivor. Uh, we did actually see on obscure side. It was a pedestal check. It was uh, just a heart piece, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Obscure with that one pendant in hand wanted to see if there was any potential value from mm -hmm, it here, mm -hmm. but uh, no can do. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Not only that, you know, the pendant itself and the, the turn in, um, you know, for Pedestal and for Saha was uh, not a, not worth uh, uh, today. But it's, but it's okay, you know, uh, as, as you know, this is actually very, very early. We have, what, uh, three crystals done here on Aerie's side. Um, Obscure's basically about to do his fourth, or, well, his third crystal, fourth dungeon. Um, lot of opportunity uh, and game to be played in order to kind of uh, equal, uh, even things up a bit. Yeah, absolutely. There's still a lot of race left. We still have a lot of items to find. Um, certainly more plays to be made at some point, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that Aerie took, I guess, like the route. Um, she just did the, uh, like the back first. Uh, did we, did we see him back there, by the way? Yeah, I mean, Aerie knew he would be walking out of here anyway, finding oh, the flute. Oh, very, um, very excellent point. So, hmm. yeah, it, some people will still check the front uh, in that case because, you know, if you can avoid checking that bridge chest, that feels pretty good. But sometimes you'll check the entire front, find nothing, and have to check the bridge chest anyway. So that's fair. And we, yeah, we're still mirrorless, right? So checking the bridge chest is actually extremely, like, even more tedious than it actually is. Cause you gotta go all the way in the front, all the way to the back, and then I guess if you have too much health, then you know you have to run all the way out again, which I think is what Aerie yeah. ended up doing. So yeah. Aerie just barely missed the ride there, but he did find both items. We got mm -hmm. a bottle and the flute, so we're, we'll be out of here. Flute's a good pickup. Uh, it solves that you know, transportation problem we were talking about a little bit, although we still have to run back here unless we find the mirror in Village of Outcast, you never know. That would be uh, extremely convenient. Um, I heard the game is all about convenience, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, just giving this all game. the items, yes, uh, in Did the past. Did you watch the last <laughs> scene? Uh, uh, yes, if, if only they had just, you know, hit the route. Uh, they would have been done <laughs> right. 30 minutes faster, yes. Yeah, hit, hit the route, sure, sure. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we have learned our lesson, you know, from previous seeds. Uh, we did check Bumper Ledge. It was a bow for, for them for uh, for the last, well, at least for Aerie, uh, for the last seed. But, you know, in this case, it's just 10 arrows, uh, so maybe not quite the bow you're looking for, or like in this case, for silvers. Yeah, yeah. so we will see the Village Valkyrie's check. It will be interesting to see. I'm, I'm oh, no, pretty sure uh, Aerie will full clear Thieves Town here yeah. uh, if he doesn't find progression. Uh, the only other thing he really has left is the mountain, um, which is a couple checks, but... Oh, yeah. right, we have no mirror, no hookshot, which means that we can really, yeah, it, it's, it's physically like literally a couple, right? We yes. have Spec Rock Cave, and we can look at Spec Rock, and I guess we have Old Man. So. And we have uh, Spike Cave. And we as have, well. uh, you have oh. But yeah, it's still some, just some, a few. Some people you know. don't consider that a check uh, no, that exists. I mean, that's, that's very fair. <laughs> yeah. I just really wanted to fit into the actual couple. <laughs> <laughs> that's how math works, yeah. I know. All right. So, okay, you, you, you mentioned something about uh, full clearing. Uh, village of Outcast, right? So how much of these town are we considering? Like the entirety of the thing? Yeah, given, given what's left, I, I don't see any situation where if there's not progression in the front first floor, uh, Aerie just doesn't complete the whole dungeon. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is fair. I, I mean, we, we, we do have the hammer. 
so we are not we're going to be able to uh, absolutely take out all four items here in Thieves Town. Uh, not going to be having any worry about leaving a potential item in the big chest. Uh, we did see on, on Obscura's side when we did the pedestal check that we actually technically do not need the pendant. Ari doesn't know that, of course, and honestly, if, if he's thinking about like running out of this place, I, I don't know if he wants to or not, Like he might as well just keep the pendant anyway. Yeah. You know, if we find Mirror, if we find Mitz, they both open up. If we find Hookshot, they, they all open up mm -hmm. something Some, that would yeah. make the back of these town a little bit less uh, attractive. Okay. But um, at this point... You know, we have one more check, and then we're we're heading back there for sure. Yeah, it looks like it because we defend the compass. We found uh, oh, we found, oh, we found bombos. Okay, all right, okay. You're never gonna complain about medallions. Uh, we do know that's not gonna be our ticket into Ice Palace. We already have the fire rod, so you know all of our um, freezer uh, disturb uh, dispersing weapons are uh, you know at hand, you know at our disposal. Um, so it is just gonna be potential Meyer or uh, Turtle Rock entry. I guess you know if you are airy or. Uh, uh, obscure, you do not want uh, whatever medallion uh, Meyer is, so you never have to go inside. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, having to play pick a pendant is not a mm -hmm, lot of fun, although mm -hmm. in Obscure's uh, you know, position, he'll only have one pendant to choose, it looks like, uh, unless he decides That's to true. skip the back of these down here, which I would doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you said, right, like, it's, it's fine to, in this case, maybe, like, skip a few things if you think that there are better options for you, but uh, you kind of already listed some of the better options. There are very few and far between, so this yeah. is actually probably, like, one of your best options. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I'd have to imagine Aerie. Aerie feels pretty good about this seed so far, just because it is so linear. Um, Aerie is very confident in his execution. As you see um, him shake his head, like, every five seconds, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he, he executes better than everybody else in the room when he's, like, so mad at himself. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very frustrating <laughs> it's, to watch. It is actually, um, <laughs> it is, like, you, are, you are actually, like, you are actually very correct. No, nah, I mean, so. uh, just joking. It, he, he's, no. you you know, he's very – All I think all top runners are probably too critical, include myself included, mm -hmm. on their own mistakes because it's just hard to play this game perfectly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially, again, you, you are you're playing live, like on stage, right? You know, like I wouldn't even say argue that if you're playing maybe like um, a more, you know, whatever, serious, you know, like main tournament race, league race, right? You're more often maybe on a 10-minute lay. Uh, you, have, you don't have a webcam on you. You're just kind of playing your game by yourself, literally, you know, very isolated, right? Ooh, that's a really nice cane. We are leaving, Ari. Yeah, I think that was the last. Yeah, time. he's uh, he's cutting his drought short. I mean, for well, right now, like he would just got the pendant, right? Yeah, he doesn't know that the pedestal is nothing, but at the same time, uh, just saying, you know what? I'm if I need the pendant, I'll come back later. You know, it's mm -hmm. it, it's certainly a very reasonable choice because it, you know, it takes quite a while to get that. Maiden back up to the cell and do the fight and collect the pendant, and you don't even, it's like for a third of an item, so. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Not, well, a third uh, of a potential item that you yeah. may not even end up getting. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, and you know, so like, and part of, uh, in this case, you know, being successful in rando is kind of evaluating what you're, like, optimizing your personal value, right? Yep. Uh, and in this case, I think, you know, Ari uh, has made two conscious decisions so far as to what he does, uh, he's chosen not to do. One is Mil Bicky uh, in Eastern Palace. And we did see on Oscura's side that it was actually nothing, but he did not value that check, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in order, and he saved a minute, and now he's saving a minute, two minutes, maybe? <laughs> Maybe less than that, yeah. uh, but basically not, you know, as you said, delivering the main. But it is a sizable chunk of time, and we're interested to see in this case. Well, Obscura will do, for, do it for sure, right, because he knows the, 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 the pedestal situation. Right, and I mean, Aerie will, I don't think, ever check pedestal in, in this seed. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be very shocking if he did. You know, he had the opportunity before. Uh, well, I guess he, he, he went from the south, so. Yeah, yeah. But he, yeah. he still could have gone up and around to the pedestal. He didn't check it then, mm -hmm. and he knew he was going to Skullwoods without the mirror. Exactly, so yeah. Once he made that decision, he's just not going to check the pedestal mm -hmm. until it's basically the last thing. Yeah. All right, okay. So we are up actually now finally on the mountain, uh, of course, with the lamp and the glove that we ended up getting from Desert Palace uh, and Blind's Hut, I think, very early on, for, yeah. uh, 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 flip respectively. Uh, we are going to get some more in logic checks, but as you did mention, no mirror, no hook shot, yeah. nothing else. We are going to be able to only get you know a few yeah. checks. All right, so nothing on uh, Spec Rock Cave itself. What's inside? Okay, so I think Aerie is getting really nervous right now because he has <laughs> one check that he hasn't skipped That's very and true. two checks that he has. Mm -hmm. um, so he has a big chest, and he also has Lamo. He he didn't go for the green yeah. pendant, so mm -hmm. those two. Checks take okay. a very long time and even more time if you backtrack to them. Mm -hmm. And 
that's all he has besides this right here, unless I'm forgetting something. No, I think this is it. So, um, I mean, and we saw both things, everything basically that uh, we caught you, you mentioned uh, down on Obscure side, so this should be progression, which is our hook shot. Yes. <laughs> It might have been like a you know pat 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 of relief there, or you know it's like okay, uh, I'm still on the right track. But I think you know even something like this could be actually just like a very minor morale boost, right? Oh, All absolutely. the things you know I've done, I don't have to go make a terrible decision for which of the things I decided to go uh, skip. I have to go back on. Man, yeah. Eric, <laughs> just showing us waffle. He's not even from the United States, and he can just do a waffle house perfectly. <laughs> you know, maybe we should just get one. You know, waffle house or pancakes or something over there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was very very well done uh, on yeah, Aries. Ab absolutely, uh, we do see. Uh, the other good thing is that he didn't back out of Thieves Town. I mean, obviously it makes the most sense to do that, but I if he did, he wouldn't have gotten that gain. So, uh, oh yeah, oh, back yeah. at Pen mm -hmm. Thieves Town definitely required in this seed. Mm -hmm. Very unlikely you would skip it, but it's certainly an option. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, normally when you say like Pen Thieves Town, I think the back is probably like more often than not, right? Is something that many yeah. people last location. Um, but, you know, because we had so few options, we kind of funnel into everything. Uh, this is Hype Cave, okay, uh, in, you know, in Paradox, because we have the Mirror and we have Temper Sword. It only took us 50 minutes to get here, but, you know, it was worth every minute uh, of us waiting. Yeah, we do see Obscure cleaning up the shovel spot after uh, leaving Thieves Town. Of course. Town. Good job, Eric. <laughs> Good job. Now, granted, that was maybe a little bit easier, you know, hover, but still, you know, Eric has been very on point, basically, with uh, his boots usage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Obscure just doing this, probably on his way to activate his flute. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you know it's also, this also works out very well, right? So there, and this is kind of the nice thing, you know. Um, I think it's been said before. It, not necessarily you, you skip things per se, you just delay them, you know, for a bit, right? Whether you know some delays are longer than others, uh, but in this <laughs> case, you have multiple opportunities if you know to kind of go back. And you know, the dig spot being able to combine it with the flute, I think, is actually very, you know, very pragmatic. So we have Usain Ball giving Obscure yeah. some, some difficulties yeah. there. Uh, after Galaga, that guy is uh, very fast. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, he, he has real feet, and he has uh, apparently super boots. I, I don't know, <laughs> you know where we can get our hands on this, but you know, I guess that's, that's Ganon's power, right? Yeah. So Aerie pulling that mirror out of Paradox Cave. We see him going up for Hera, that is also a crystal, and mm -hmm. it's completely isolated right now, so makes a lot of sense. You know, you might think, oh, I'll come back and combo with Dark Death Mountain, but, you know, it, just going to the crystal you can clear makes just a ton of sense. Uh, Swamp is also a, an option, but... Uh, this is faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's faster, certainly. Uh, so, would you do Hera Basement uh, if you were presented with uh, the option to do so? Well, it's an interesting choice, right? So between the two crystals, they both have things that you might not want to do. You might want to skip if you know your options are dwindle or are you know you still have a lot of options. So. Um, with Swamp, you'd want to skip the left side did if we, possible. Did we not do Bonkrox on Obscure side? Uh, uh, yes, he he's <laughs> definitely skipped Bonkrox <laughs> as, as well as the I uh, Lumberjack see. check. Okay. So. I thought that he um, actually just skipped Lumberjack. I didn't realize he skipped Bonkrox. All right, well, okay. Well, good thing we went back for it. Again, every check is just delayed. You know, it, yeah. didn't, it didn't hurt him, so we're all good. Yeah, so we already saw one item on Aerie's side. We get the big key. Oh my gosh, Aerie's too fast. Just be a really fast uh, Hera here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Hera pot was very, very well executed. So yeah, so Hera has the basement, which you would prefer to not do um, if you didn't have to. Swamp has west, uh, the left side, which you would prefer not to do, not to do if you didn't have to. Um, that certainly would play into your decision making. Hera is probably better because it's more likely you can skip the basement. Uh, because it's probably like more, I yeah. like it's more likely that your your opponent also skipped it. Well, it's more likely that it's just not going to have an item at mm -hmm. all. Uh, where Which swamp, is in this case, you're, you're right? going to yeah. have at least one item the vast majority of the time in Swamp. Mm -hmm. So that's very fair. And speaking of though, uh, good thing we went to Hera first because we got a fighter shield in the compass chest. Yeah. Uh, that is our uh, well meme logical entry into Swamp Palace, uh, so we can actually avoid the spear from the Moblin. Very useful, by the way, in NMG as well. Yep, so Obscure is coming up the mountain here. Uh, I'm assuming he'll be following uh, Aerie's footsteps, get that hook shot very soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aerie, meanwhile, has a very fast Tower of Hera. Blink and you'll miss it, but getting his uh, fourth crystal. So it, it yeah, seems like it's Yeah, we're making some you know, very, very fast progress so far. Like the I mean, item progress felt like so slow, but we, we have collected some crystals along the way. So, you know. We, Walking yeah. towards the bird saves time. That's what I've been told by every single high-level <laughs> runner, as we just demonstrated here on Aerie's side. 
<laughs> yep, uh, Ari definitely missed his ride there. Uh, so now we'll look, see that Swamp Palace play. Uh, we'll see if he does any of the mirror checks before or saves them for after. Um, the you know, mirror checks mean be like K45. K45 and, like and Bombas Bomba Tablet. tablet. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, like, well, what do you think, though? I mean, like, do you think it's worth it to do these extra checks before Swamp? I think, you know, it, it, it's, it's tough to say. Like, he's fairly close. Um, it's, you know, without mitts, it, it's, you know, weird to say, but it's kind of fairly close to go mode, so, hmm. I'm always very, you know, skeptical of, or you know, very cautious if we don't have the ice around Turtle Rocks or Crystal. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> like, b because you're, you, man, if you find the myths, though, are you? Really I want to find the ice rod. Ice I want to find the ice rod first. I know it's a more difficult task, uh, but I would really like to see that, you know, so we can actually get mids go mode, right? Mids right. open up so much. They open up the last three Dark World dungeons, for example, and I do not want to go uh, trying to find that needle ice rod in a, in a haystack within oh. those locations. Well, sure. uh, everybody would love to find the ice rod before the mids, but I, I, well, I guess where I'm going is if you find the mids here, like, you're just, like, doing partial go mode ice palace and going to Turtle Rock, right? Like, you're, you're not... Mm. Like, but when I say partial go mode, I mean you, you just get ice tea, probably. Um, unless you have found, like, zero items. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I, think, I think that's very reasonable. Like, that, mm -hmm. I mean, Ari, since he's, you know, relying heavily on his execution, he could certainly <laughs> full clear more. But if, if you're, a, like, on an obscure seat, you know, skipping items like ice tea and rushing Turtle Rock is exactly what I would expect to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Obscure actually, you know, for, for the way he's been playing very, very well, he's just been a bit more thorough than Aerie has, right? You do see him kind of, in this case, like lagging uh, in the sense of, uh, you know, Aerie is maybe further along in dungeons, you know, than he is, but Obscure has done a lot more things uh, in this case. It right. just uh, happens to be that those those particular checks uh, also have taken a significant time investment, right? Eastern Palace, Big Key Chest, uh, killing Green Pendant Lamos, turning it in, checking Pedestal. Like, these are, like, adding up basically to, you know, multiple minutes. Yeah, so. ab absolutely, and... And we'll, we'll see how his strategy evolves here and, you know, where Ice Rod ends up yeah, being. Yeah, for sure. If, mm -hmm. if he ends up, you know, staying more thorough than Aerie, that could certainly have an, an impact on how, you know, likely he is to find the Ice Rod. Yeah. Um, you know, before Aerie does. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, wait, so the benefit of being more thorough, um, exploring seeing on Obscure side, uh, is that He's going to have fewer, I guess, like maybe diffi more difficult decisions to make. When Aerie was looking for that hook shot, and we didn't ultimately found it in, in, in uh, Spike Cave, right? But you think about the options that Aerie had left at that point. He could have gone back to Vanilla uh, Pal uh, Eastern Palace Bicky Chest, could have gone Pendant Lamo, right? These mm -hmm. are all the things you mentioned. Or you can do Spike Cave, and if it wasn't Spike Cave, like, where the heck are you going to go, right? That is a terrible, terrible feeling. Obscure is not going to probably have those types of decisions. Yeah, although he did come over here uh, from. Checking Paradox. I so did see I, that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He might. Um, I, it, it, it's basically the same amount of time. Game? But you, you could skip Spiral Cave here if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he has. I mean, he hasn't skipped anything yet, but that that is an option. Well, I guess he skipped Bonk Rocks and <laughs> <laughs> Lumberjack. D delayed, hey. delayed. 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 All right. Uh, Aerie, uh, um, like a textbook, zero cycle, Argus, uh, Phase 1, great cleanup on Phase 2, and we are rewarded or cursed, you know, currently with the mitts. I mean, like, you obviously, we need the mitts uh, for progression. It's going to open a lot more. Like I said, it would just be kind of nice to have the ice rod, but, you know, uh, beggars, I guess, can't be choosers. Yeah. And we are in seeing any situation. Aerie leave here. Uh, any, any, any notice about how many items are left in Swamp, out of curiosity? Does anybody know? <laughs> I am not okay. sure. Uh, but this is what you would expect to see. Uh, you know, you got to get the crystal that's in front of you, and Turtle Rock is one of the most dense dungeons, and very Ice fair. Rod is very mm -hmm. often there. So yeah. you, you just can't delay going for the crystal and the, you know, the Turtle Rock play. You also need to get up the mountain to see if you have the right medallion. So very fair. You, you really can't do too many extra checks before you get up there. Yeah, oh yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, and, and being in the situation, you mentioned this before, you know, maybe partial go mode. You can always be very fortunate in that the C could just give you a very good item layout, right? Maybe we'll never actually have to go visit Ice-T to begin with uh, because we're just gonna find all three items along the way. We do have Kana Samaria for Icebreaker. Uh, so it's gonna be certainly more rando familiar, you know, for most people in order to do Icebreaker and in order to kind of go from back to front. Uh, yep. So it's going to make the Ice Palace player a little bit nicer. Uh, we already have our first item already, so things are looking optimistic. Yeah, and we do see Obscure going to Swamp prior to uh, 
doing Spiral Cave, so... Oh, okay, that's good, because there wasn't anything there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so. Alright, looks like Aerie is going to... Yeah, just setting up Icebreaker. Again, you know, like, these things we're kind of used to, uh, you know, maybe seeing, like, more routine from runners. Keep, keep in mind, though, that uh, they are on, you know, a slightly different setup. So I'm really glad to be able, they're kind of be able to at least get, get themselves accustomed to, you know, playing on stage. Yeah, I mean, Airy is certainly, you know, a dungeon ahead, dungeon plus ahead right now. Uh, so if the Ice Rod is on the path, Airy has a comfortable lead, but there are a lot of places that are not on the path right now. Oh, we yeah. have oh, yeah. the Smith Chain, we have potentially Meyer, we have, you know. The whole Meyer area. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Uh, Obscure is definitely behind on uh, you know the line to the mitts right now, but he is definitely not out of this race yet. Oh, for sure. I think we also have some. Did you mention something about if we have mi mirror go mode, we don't have to check those uh, some of those more terrible mirror checks like graveyard ledge? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It looks like Aries <laughs> taking a route that would skip ice T. Um, All right. Well, maybe we have a couple keys. But yeah. Okay. I think I think I think we're going right. Yep. This this means that we are potentially leaving one item here behind. All right, looks like Obscure is, he is, oh, no, no, oh, this, this is the beginning. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to go Come through, in. yeah, we're just going to go through Swamp Palace on Obscure's side, so he's going to go pick up his mitts. Uh, we're going to go see, in this case, if Obscure is going to go do left side as yeah, well. Yeah, left or? side Swamp is one of those mm -hmm. things. Yeah, like it, there's there's a lot of places where that ice rock could be that would be really good for Obscure. Mm-hmm, yeah. Sure, yeah, and Aerie is, um, I don't actually know if this is how normally uh, how normally aggressively like, he plays, but then again, you know, he has taken some certain some pretty strong stances so far. They've worked out uh, uh, at least uh, to his favor, you know, at the moment. Uh, oh, nice use of looks like oh, good combination of bombos and uh, and the fire rod in order to actually clean up Colster quite well. Yeah, really nice fight, mm -hmm. and we see a map there, so yeah. uh, there are item there's an item left mm -hmm. for sure. Surely. We don't have to come back here. <laughs> well, it's, we have a lot of options open up to us, right? Uh, you mentioned we are basically, what, we're going to go to the mountain at this point? We're going to go to Dark Death Mountain and Turtle Rock? Yep. And yeah, hopefully in this case, we're going to see that the medallion is Bombos, and we'll just be happy, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the medallion's Bombos and, uh, you know, just go in, there's a lot of item checks. We got, we'll have at least five to get within Turtle Rock and six on Dark Death Mountain. Looks like Aerie is opting to check Meyer Shed and Checkerboard okay, before... Okay, okay, just in uh, case, just, just real quick. Yeah, I, just I, can, I can fairly understand that. We would not do Lambo here, right? Oh, no. Okay. There, there's no chance that Aerie <laughs> ever kills Lambo okay. in this scene. All right. I, I, <laughs> like, even if he's looking for Ice Rod, I would be shocked <laughs> if that is on his radar. Very fair. Nice first frame dash there on Aerie's side to get through Meyer Shed. Uh, we did see there was Ether for Meyer. Uh, okay, and I guess we don't know what Turtle Rock is right now, but we would like to not see Ether. Uh, it has a habit of maybe showing up kind of nearby Meyer, uh, <laughs> as it does normally, but, you know, well, we're just going to ignore that. Uh, ignore that prospect. Obscure is starting his Argus fight. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of a rush here, but I'm not actually sure if he goes for like a zero cycle. We're just gonna do the old hook and slash. Tempered Sword does afford you that luxury. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it will be very interesting. I, I expect him to go to ice after this, but he definitely could make a play. Mm -hmm. He's made plays already. Oh so. yeah, yeah. You don't win the main tournament uh, if you don't maybe have a trick up your well. Do fish have sleeves? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> another Waffle House. I mean, Ari maybe can start a franchise at this point. You know, like uh, I heard they do make a lot of money. Honestly. So yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> speaking sure. of money, uh, we are here in the finals uh, of SGL. This is a cash prize tournament. The winner is going to walk out with 50% of the prize pool. I believe actually we have the numbers here in front of us uh, that was given us to by Sinak and Rick. Uh, first place uh, is going to get uh, $1,418. That is a lot of cash, uh, basically in half hour-ish. One of these guys is going to get that. Second place is going to get 25% of the pool, $567.20. I mean, this is, this is a lot of cash, <laughs> especially if you're coming over from Europe, um, you know, might, you know, kind of compensate some of the, maybe like your travel, you know, <laughs> or uh, gives you better, you know, uh, affordment in order to come back here next year. Just saying, you know, yeah. or another console, a super NT, games, whatever, you know, use it to whatever, for whatever you like. <laughs> Yep, absolutely. So we're seeing these Dark Death Mountain checks. We didn't see anything in Super Money Cave. Uh, I think we got one of the hard containers, which is always nice. Oh, in this yeah, mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at this point, because they do a blue mail. Yeah, and 
what, seven, eight hearts, something like that? Yeah. yeah. They're the pretty comfy. Heart, yeah, probably won't be too big of a deal. Um, however, though, uh, you did mention, uh, it is one of three net heart containers, two, two mm -hmm. regular heart containers in Sank Heart. Uh, you're never going to turn down heart container in this mode. <laughs> so. Yep. so nothing outside of Turtle Rock, but we do still have five or six items inside that could all be the Ice Rod, you mm -hmm. know? Um, but we do need the Ether Medallion, right. so that is quite interesting. Okay. Um, it was okay, so those of you who are fans of Airy, um, do not, you know, don't spike the, don't spike the copium <laughs> too far. We do have some holes in our, in our fabric of coverage. Uh, however, everything will be fine. So you've yeah. never gotten punished, and if we do, we're gonna, we're gonna notice that, you know, very quickly. <laughs> yeah. So um. the most likely scenario here, Airy does Smith Chain. Uh, he does have Graveyard Ledge outstanding. I don't know if he'll do it. He'll work it in somehow now, or just do Smith Chain and then leave that for oh, I later. Oh, about Smith Chain. Okay. Um, we do have Catfish. Uh, it's, it's hanging out up there. That, that, you know? that in, in the middle of nowhere. I do agree. Uh, we do, you know, probably need like you know further modes of transportation, well, or at least mentally, because you, know, you got to make you know a trek, you know, all the way basically for like I don't know a minute or something in order to just for one check. Yeah, I mean, there are a ton of horrible options here. Um, Including the, some of the ones that Aerie has not done that he has consciously decided to uh, delete out of his map tracker <laughs> or wherever it is. Uh, but we're just going to hope in this case for Aerie's sake, that, you know, especially if you're a fan of Aerie, you know, winning this whole thing, that it is just going to be uh, you know, on the path that he chooses and not in one of the locations he has consciously decided to not do. Yeah, the interesting thing about a medallion hunt for Turtle Rock is sometimes you end up finding the ice rod on your medallion hunt, so that, yeah, that's that can always, uh, uh -huh. you know, that can help you out a little bit. Okay, so the fact that it is ether for both Meyer and Turtle Rock, like once you find ether, okay, assuming you find ether first before ice rod, you, like you're just going back to Turtle Rock, right? Is that what you're yeah. doing? Yeah, although in Obscure's shoes, depending on how he feels, he might, you know, say, I'm just going to do this Meyer dip because it's the only, my only shot. <laughs> Such bait, man. <laughs> it's a coin. It's just not oriented. It's like on the uh, what x-axis instead of the y-axis. That's that's <laughs> what we don't want to see. <laughs> Some axis talk. That's all right. right. That's um. right. <laughs> All right, what are the case? Oh, guys, we don't have powder. Uh, Ari did have the option, I believe, of fake powdering because he did save scum the mushroom. Uh, it would, I mean, but it would basically deplete his magic bar. I don't know. I don't know if he has other plans in this case that he wants to. Also, he knows maybe that we're watching, so. Yeah, I think it's just mostly that he doesn't want to have an empty magic bar because he's looking for ether. I right, guess he can, right. he can he can go back through Super, Super Bunny, Bunny but yeah, okay. I, you know, the a time to do fake powder plus the time to go back through Super Bunny, like that's uh, that is a quite lot. a few extra yeah. screens. Yeah, and technically, we really don't like we even after all of the searching, right? Like even like collectively, right between Obscure and Airy, we still don't have the powder. And yeah. even if you have real powder and you go back and do magic band, it is still a, you know a sizable time investment. So yeah. like. Yes, you have absolutely. Big, yeah, like it's it's still actually maybe like an underrated or you know um, unassuming uh, extra investment that you may not realize just how right. much cost like it, it is. If you saw the powder like something like Lake Helia Island and you couldn't get it at the time, but yeah, now you know yeah. it's in logic, like that's something a lot different. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, it's just like speculation. Right. Uh, we do see Obscure doing a more uh, complete. Ice Palace route. It he looks has like. been very thorough, uh, maybe even more thorough than expected in some cases, right? Like clearing out Pendant Lamo uh, for the Green Pendant. Um, but yes, he has gotten every single item uh, available to him in the area that he has been in. Nothing, uh, right? Nothing on Smith Chain. Nothing on Bobo's tablet, right? That's what yeah. I saw. And we we did see Airy <laughs> saying no to Left Side Swamp a second time. Essentially, he, you know, he checked Bobo's tablet. So. Oh yeah, actually speaking of, like, we also saw Obscure saying left, no to Left Side, right? Yeah. Okay. And that's that's gonna right. stay there for a little while mm -hmm. now. It looks mm -hmm. like we probably are getting Graveyard Lich here from Airy and maybe into Catfish. Um, just trying to route together the things he has left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so we've kind of actually seen, at least from Ari, you know, even as a, you know, one uh, data point that we raced in the semis, you know, actually just a couple, like one hour-ish ago. Uh, if, if it's essentially like a full clear seat, Ari has a very, I, I would consider to be very strong advantage. He, I mean, he has, in, in general, he's always a very talented runner, uh, but he know, definitely knows how to route everything inefficiently if you have to basically check everything. And right now, kind of looking like we are going to check everything. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, we also haven't checked King's Tomb yet because those mitts were so late. Great and, point, uh, yeah. We haven't been up here efficient. with the mirror, so. Yes. All of the head shakes and like the oh stuff that we see from maybe, you know again these are you know <laughs> for maybe people who are just you know playing casually just kind of watching home it's like oh what's so wrong you know like for their standards um, they they are not happy with their execution but it's still still very good. 
they're also not happy about having a you know last location hunt again. Yeah, yeah, that um, might be. Well, that I think that might be within expectations though. If you're gonna pick up Brando and play this competitively, you might end up getting used to it. Oh, we have Ether in King's Tomb. Yeah, you didn't mention it as the the Miz were super late. Uh, we did have the flute, but getting over to King's Tomb is probably not as. Actually, I don't know. Maybe if you have the flute, it feels like you get to King's Tomb less frequently, right? Because you don't have a save and quit to go to Sank. Yeah, you and if, to if you have here. Graveyard Ledge outstanding, there's always that thing in the back of your mind where you'd want to combo it rather than do the save and quit. Um, so we do see Aerie going on, on the Catfish. Uh, I guess he figures if the Ice Rod's here, if he doesn't do it now, it will be his yeah, last location, yeah. and it leaves mm -hmm. open a pretty big window for Obscure. Mm -hmm, so it sure. makes a lot of sense to do it now. Um, it does take some time, though, that, you know, he doesn't know that he has this time, but um, it, it, it is a lengthy check. Yeah. For one item. Yeah, well, um, for what is real, like, he might feel like uh, this is something that he could afford, you know, because he did give up, you know, some skips right earlier that seemingly, at least so far, right, has saved him some time and he hasn't had to go back to. So, but, you know, if you're absolutely right, though, if Catfish has something and we don't do it now, we're not going to, I mean, we're yeah. not going to miss the blue. In fact, Aerie didn't even take it uh, on his way up to Turtle Rock. So, so here we are. Yeah, so Aerie right now is just on a Ice Rod hunt. Tip. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or bad that we're having it in the finals of SGL, but it seems certainly very typical of Rando. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most standard modes, ha we, we have the Ice Rod Hunt, but I think every mode has an Ice Rod. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just, fair, fair. you know, it has a different name. That's right. Um, you know, you have the the uh, Castle Tower Keys and regular all and dungeons. Keys and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have the Desert Big Key and Cross Keys. <laughs> is, Desert is Big the Key, ice rod, you know. Pod Big Key, Eastern yeah. Palace Big Key, you know, yeah, we got, we got a lot of ice rods here. But we have the Ice Rod Ice Rod today yeah. in mm -hmm. uh, our SGL race. Yeah. And it's been plenty of seeds throughout the tournament that has been Ice Rod Go Mode, and this is just uh, fitting That's for right. the finals That's right. Here. Yeah, you know, uh, what better way to end the finals uh, than to have a representative? You know, you practice the entire way of the tournament, right? All for Ice Rod hunts. And if you've been successful on our Ice Rod hunt, then surely you will be good enough for the finals, right? <laughs> exactly. That's how, that's how exactly. it works. <laughs> All right, all right. Obscura's got his information, so he knows that he is not only on Ice Rod Hunt, he is on uh, now a known Ether Hunt. Now, of course, the good news for Obscure uh, is that you know he has zero gaps, you know, in Ice Palace, Eastern Palace. That like he does not, he knows that he doesn't have to go okay. back to. You know. So we we see the save and quit from the Dark World. It looks like he might be going right for a Graver Legend, King's Tomb, and Catfish. Wow. And that would make up some time here that potentially. Would, oh, or, we're going or to Catfish. We're just directly. going to Catfish. Okay. We're gonna um, go. He visit. could backtrack, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna go visit our uh, black, black fish uncle of of the north for obscure. Uh, gonna go get a very paltry uh, sum of not even enough to compensate for our travels. I don't even know if he's gonna pick it up honestly at this point, but uh, because we're just so <laughs> flush with cash. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we do have some amazing music on the. Oh uh, yeah! Oh yeah! This Aries is this is here. a. Uh, well, we did see actually in Aries previous uh, file name. They use the same MSU for it was called Gem Jams. This is uh, his MSU, <laughs> so it has been it's been quite good so far. Uh, it was obviously a winning MSU for Aries in the round one, uh, in the semis. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna have a repeat occurrence here in the finals for Aries. We do see Obscure running out of catfish, so I this do expect is to see actually, that King's Tomb yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is, I mean, you mentioned, you know, like Obscure might, you know, be making plays. Maybe he feels like this is going to be something uh, I mean, that he wants to go check I mean, this is a very, yeah. very reasonable route. Uh, for sure, for so, sure. So, I mean, he has three items that are kind of grouped together here, um, which isn't that much different than the Smith Chain in reality. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's a reasonable route. He is going to get to that Ether Medallion in less time than it took Aerie to... Uh, he probably will still check Graveyard Ledge for the Ice Rod, yeah, for but sure. mm -hmm. at that point, he'll probably make a play on Turtle Rock. Unless he, you know, he's like, I need a big play to win and goes to Meyer. That's certainly an option he has. I forgot about Meyer. Yeah, I, it's <laughs> We can't there. actually go into Meyer. Yeah, yeah, that is. A, I mean, when we did even see early on that Obscure, you know, uh, willingly finished up uh, d I mean, Pendant Desert, right, in order for that green pendant, um, and going to, well, Pendant Meyer to go search for the Ice Rod. It doesn't have to be here. You know, we talk about pick a pendant uh, that nobody really wants to do. In this case, Obscure has picked a, well, overworld location over the other, um, you know, in this case doing North Dark World instead of Smith Chain. Uh, it certainly has paid out for him so far, but, you know, again, we're still on a physical ice rod hunt right now. Um, it's just, you're just hoping that in this case it is in Turtle Rock because if you search anywhere else and the ice rod is here, 
uh, you've just wasted all the time basically not being in Turtle Rock. Yep, so. and Obscure, as expected, is going to Turtle Rock. Mm -hmm. So at, at this point, he's if the Ice Rod is in Turtle Rock, he is behind. But uh, if it's not, you know, it it, is it's still anybody's game. <laughs> It's okay. We have figured out that fish, in fact, need water to swim. Uh, there is no water in that pit, so uh, we should just stay out. Stink dead rocks, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and so if you're certainly fans of Obscure, you certainly should see that you know Aerie is uh, I don't know three fourths of a Turtle Rock dungeon ahead at this point in terms of um, completing. Well, trying to uh, make an attempt to complete it. Uh, if the Ice Rod is not here, right? Uh, you're certainly hoping for you know if you're fa rooting for Obscure that the Ice Rod is in fact not here because you want more variation or more possibilities uh, in this case for the location for the Ice Rod to be. And Aerie is I would say in a much worse position uh, in order to try and pick the right location because he is a lot more open to him. Him, that because he, you know, those are locations that Obscure has not done. Or sorry, Obscure has done, but Aerie has not. Are we? Are we a big check? Uh, big chess fa uh, checker, by the way, <laughs> over Mimic Cave. <laughs> I think we are in Mimic Cave. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Some okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, you certainly can't complain. You know, this case about uh, tempered silvers for the end game. No, it will not mess with Aerie's muscle memory. I think he's got enough practice by now in order to do Silver's Ganon. Don't worry. His 123 is still safe. Uh, you, need, you need to do the Silver's Ganon for 100%. Oh, so that's true. He, okay, you know what? Yeah, you know, you're he, right. He's well practiced. Right. Does, on he, that does too. he have a world record in that? I, I don't think so. Okay, but all right. I mean, okay, okay. Well, this is why maybe. he's. This is, this is all practice for him, then, if that's the case. <laughs> all right, so Obscure is starting. So we sort of have not seen the Ice Rod uh, in Turtle Rock quite yet. Um, certainly, oh, we've got another heart container. Oh, we have 11 hearts. Not often you get to see this uh, in uh, SGL hard mode. Typically, you're. Well,. The seed doesn't have to, you know, uh, finish quickly. I won't say this is a slow seed per se, but um, you don't really need to always find that so much hard. You are, you are technically capped at 14 because I think that is actually all of the hard safeties. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is rare to see that second line start to fill up in, in this mode. I, not very few seeds this week mm -hmm. have, have done that. Um, but we are coming up on the last few checks here in yeah, Turtle Rock. This is the this is the actual protein portion of Turtle Rock. All right, like everything else is kind of like bone and skin. Uh, this is actually where potentially you know we've seen the ice rod you know occur so often. We need our right, one more op opportunity. We have a small key somewhere, and it is not here. Uh, we are hunting for that ice rod. We yeah. are surviving. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think Aerie's going to take the door. I don't know what his plans are to try to save the portal. Okay, uh, I, I, that was my next question. So we've already done, well, okay. We have completed Swamp for both Obscure and Aerie. No, neither person has done left side. Yeah. That, How much of this portal saving are you going to attempt? That's that's the trick, right? So that's the, that There's only one trick? Is this like, uh, you know, uh, doctors only recommend this one trick, uh, you know, for... Winning random tournaments. So this <laughs> is this. interesting, and th I guess I didn't really think about this scenario. But if you are in a si situation where you want to save the portal, and, and you have Aga killed, Ares only options to save the portal really are the things he skipped in the first 20 minutes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> that uh, well, that's really very good for Obscure because all of the time that Obscure took uh, is that Aerie is going to basically you know give in right back you know to uh, to Aerie. Yeah. I mean, this is really interesting. So, I mean, Obscure could also try to save the portal. Um, I don't. I don't know if he has much he could save it with though. Uh, and or you could just you know you have that swamp play. You have the you have the Meyer play. Um, well, so Ari right now has blue mail, and uh, what we're seeing is 11, net, you know, well, total hearts, but I mean, I guess four and a half. But I mean, like, how isn't a lot of time also to try and save your portal? You have to, like, death warp, you know? Yeah, like, he has a death warp from the light world. Um, that's, yeah, that's a little bit of pain. I guess if he goes to desert, but you, you go through the door in deserts, terrible. I don't know. There's, there's not many places to take a lot of yeah. easy damage in the light yeah. world. I mean, um, but man. It, I guess crabs. Cra you can just loot to eight and uh, Great. one heart at a time. <laughs> okay. We're finally using the crabs to our advantage. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if there's Aerie, uh, current slash former member of Team Pugs, they have certainly quite the reputation of well, having a rivalry with the, the crabs that apparently they keep losing. Um, so this is their best chance actually to take, you know, like full advantage of, of the situation. That being said, though, like, yeah. is it is it worth it to try and keep your portal? Oh, I, I mean, mean, you don't need. I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't need a death warp because um, okay. we're in the light world. 
Oh, we can just flute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Look, these these things are hard with Aga, all right? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you just think about Aga okay. and you're like, wait, wait, why are we in the light world? Oh, yeah, because we don't, we can't take a death. Yeah, right? that's okay. right, yeah. Um, so where are we going, Ari? Um, I think he is saying no to Lanmo. Okay. Oh, we're He's checking, checking the pedestal. Pets okay. Um, Maybe okay. in this case he wants to know. In this case, if he wants to commit to either Meyer uh, right. or so this means uh, or he's Desert. yeah. This means yeah. he's planning to go to a pendant dungeon, um, probably Meyer because if he's doing this beforehand, so that if he gets both items, like he doesn't want to go to Meyer, leave, come back, yeah, and yeah. realize and then, he has right, to go back. Right. So mm -hmm. the idea is he does this check now, and he'll know, you know, whether or not. You should be go moding for bosses in pendant dungeons or looking for items. Yeah. So suddenly, actually, well, okay. So in this case, like we do have, we have the mirror and we have the flute. So going to uh, get green pendant landmo uh, is certainly not going to be out of the question for Ari. Uh, I mean, is it not going to be? Uh, basically, as hefty of the time commitment as we had to go through the front. Um, that, so that being yeah. said, though, uh, th well, what are the options we have? We have one item on Pendant Lamo that Ari has. Uh, that up here is already done, so he doesn't have to do this as he's going through basically Laser Bridge and to get get his. Well, I don't even know if it's sad news because if the ice rod is here, right? Then um, Aerie probably would have already been a GT finishing. Yeah. So uh, it's it's interesting. I, I I don't know if we have one or two items in swamp, but um, if there's two, I mean, it's basically the same value as Meyer. Uh, probably a little bit more time on average to get items, but not. I mean, depending on where the items are here in Meyer, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess in this case, well, you still want to be able to see the two items early, right? You don't want to compare yeah. to, you know, killing Vitreus. I mean, well, in this case, if we, well, if the last time it's on Vitreus, I assume you just go get it. Or, I well, I mean, as in, like, if it's a 50-50 between, like, the cutscene chest and and the yeah. boss, I so assume you just go kill the boss. Unfortunately for Obscure, he's making the play, he, he you know, he doesn't know where Aerie is or what, what he's doing, but... Uh, if he made the play to Swamp, he would have a potential to be in the lead. Um, right now, he is you know, on a straight line behind Aerie in the checks for the Ice Rod here. Uh, we do see a blue Rupee for the first item out of Meyer. Luckily, it was early, but you know that doesn't mean the second item is going to be early. Mm -hmm. uh, we could be seeing this full dungeon That's for all right. we know. Mm -hmm. yeah. We haven't found the big key yet either, have we? No, no. We just got yeah. started all here. Right, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, Aerie is on that one heart. Um, we don't have any powder or anything. We don't. We have the bug net now. Just saying, and maybe we, we, we can find a fairy somewhere. Uh, I, I guess he does have zero magic, and oh, he does and have. Oh, he has the cane out too. Yeah, well, and he has yeah. the mushroom still. Mm -hmm. So. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um, oh ooh, no! That that's really interesting. I mean, obscure is now like around tied in this dungeon. He I mean, not a is. little bit. Although he can't really get the spike chest right now. He um, has. A well, he maybe has yeah. a little bit of magic. Oh, I think cape. he has a blue potion. He might choose to use it. Well, if he if he uses the cape, is that enough in order to uh, get through? I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little sketch. Yeah, nobody in this case has. Yeah, but you're, you're right though. I, I I think he bought two blue potions. I want to say. Yeah, it looks like he's actually going to yeah. have. He's okay, that, that very makes a very lot of understandable. Sense. Yeah, yeah. This is actually one also good thing to see in this case. Like, uh, potions are there to be used. They are not good when you're dead, uh, <laughs> or at the end at your end game uh, when you have no opportunity to use it more. Like, there's a reason why you spent the time to go do it, uh, yeah. to, to go buy it, right? Yeah, so. absolutely. So Ari had to come down here get the, the magic pot to come mm -hmm. up and check compass chests. Yeah, these uh, these shooters are really uh, being a bully here on on Aerie's side. All right, we're gonna go check the. Well, we're gonna go check the. Uh, we're not gonna go check the middle Vicky chest. Never mind. Yeah, I think it, I think he was going to, and then he had second thoughts. Yeah, um, that's fine. I don't know in this case how much of that death has influenced Aerie. You know, just because it was something. Really, again, like Aerie doesn't know where where Obscure is. Uh, Obscure doesn't know where Aerie is. All they probably each know is that uh, they've searched the entirety of the world for, and they're still looking for that ice rod. <laughs> and they have not. And they've been on this hunt for, I would say, for quite some time. So yeah. the longer this thing goes on, the, the worse you're probably going to feel. And given that, um, even though this Ice Rat Hunt feeling has been fairly, uh, for better or for worse, common, you know, in Rando, uh, this is also for some pretty high stakes here, right? Everything's just kind of amplified. Yeah, and I, I, the other interesting thing, like if the Ice Rod isn't here in Meyer, uh, I mean, I, I said Aerie would ne was never going to kill Lanmo, but... Uh, uh, Aerie might kill Lando. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's okay. We didn't know what would have happened. You know, like forty minutes from you know from that location, uh, from you know from that instant game. I will say though, like uh, Aerie does have the Smith chain over Obscure. 
Uh, that does. is something that you know Obscure can uh, still do. Uh, and and, 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 and the flip side, right? Uh, Obscure has the uh, pendant limo kill over over Airy, and of course the green pendant turn in. And that being said, both of them yielded nothing. So where is this ice rod? <laughs> uh, where is this ice rod? Yeah, I mean, left side swamp is. Is it really left side, left side swamp? Side swamp? I, is that our, is that our only option? What else do we have left? I, <laughs> I'm, I'm running out in my head. Uh, yeah. If, if it's not here, if right? It's not here, yeah, if it's not here. Uh, I mean, like, right, we're still in this case looking for one more item. Obscure actually is skipping the 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 vanilla Bicky chest here in Maya. We're going straight to. Uh, yeah, this, this is boss. a play. Uh, uh, yes, I mean, but whoever finds the ice rod um, is is yeah. very heavily favored to be the ultimate winner here in in the race. It all depends in this case where it is. It is yeah. not here in Meyer. Arius found the second item. Obs um, obscure. Is he gonna go back in? I guess he is gonna go back in, right, for the second item after he finds that this is gonna be something. I don't know, small key. Man, I this is this is tough. Uh, whew, I mean, he's he might make a play. He like he might decide. He might just decide to leave. Like as in, like he took he took his fifty fifty, and if the item you know is not here on on Vitrius, I will just come back later for this. I, I mean, you you oh have to make gosh. tough decisions when you get down to this point of one v one. How much money are we playing for again? I mean, <laughs> a thousand, a th almost fifteen hundred, yeah. five hundred. The, the, the marginal yeah. difference here is, is like eight hundred and fifty dollars. That is that is a lot uh, of money, by the way. That's a lot of money. <laughs> so the difference between first and second, um, that's that's Ari, pretty huge. Oh my gosh, Ari, please don't die uh, before you go kill Landmo. I know, I know that it. Okay, we have one more Igor that can deal one hearted damage. I hope that things are going to be okay. He has survived this. We have silver arrows. <laughs> okay, we have we have, we have social distanced ourselves from the Igor. All right, we have more than enough feet, you know, between ourselves and it. Uh, we just go into Lambo. Uh, the rocks don't kill you immediately. It's fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, this is incredibly oh, no. nerve wracking. Obscure. Uh, Do you see Obscure's reaction though? He uh, is he is very very much not happy with the fact that he got a compass yeah. off of Lam uh, off of Vitrius. Understandable, but mm -hmm. maybe that's the push he needs to make a crazy play, yeah, like going to swamp so. uh, mm -hmm. before doing Smith Chain. Like who knows? He is he is going back in. Uh, oh that's my that's gosh, unfortunate. That is because I think at this point, what does Ari have left? He has a green pin and turn in, which he's gonna do probably immediately. He knows the pedestal is not in play. So I guess I guess it is is it just left eye swamp. I, yeah, I, I think that's what we have. Um, I'm thinking I don't know how much of the meta is because because right now we are on we have been on ice for the last I don't know like 20 whatever minutes right and so like do you think in this case like oh if it's left side swamp, I've already lost type of thing because my opponent if they did it you know they would no. have been done 15 so minutes ago or whatever. In the current meta with with Specky Clip. Uh, Nobody in this mode does left side swamp before the back, and given that you get the mids back there, and that's you're on the ice rod go mode, I, I would have to think that mo both of them would think their opponent left it behind. So it should be a valid option in their minds. Um, okay. That said, you know whether you're meta gaming that hard on a one v one or you're just going to the most dense location you haven't been to, uh, it, it's it's very hard to do those that type of meta gaming live and live. You know, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. trying to make a play like that. Um, I was going to, you know, uh, bring up a, a potentially very cursed check. Would you fake powder whatsoever at any point before going into left side swamp? No. <laughs> You'll, Good I, answer. I mean, if you find <laughs> powder answer. there, you're going to be like, ah, yeah. oh, crap. But like, there's no reason why you would ever do that <laughs> at all. The only, I guess, like more plausible thing, right, is that at this point, if powder is the thing that's on left side, yeah, you just mentioned this, right? Then yeah, like you could have saved some time. You could have actually saved gold limits. However, though, it is probably just more likely that it is actually just the ice rod. We don't really have much else. And the powder most likely is someone going to be a GT. Okay, so we do see Obscure going to Swamp, but unfortunately he is a few screens behind here. But, I mean, it, it's very close. It is uh, very close. And remember, um, <laughs> after we find the ice rod, we're not done searching yet. By the way, we still have that GT Bicky that we have to go find. Uh, it is uh, a very still important piece of oh. the puzzle that we have. Where we are we going? We might be seeing Bombo's we tab. Or K45. We're all doing we're doing Smith Chain stuff. Okay, so he might be doing Smith Chain here. Okay. That, that's unfortunate, but I mean, it makes a lot of sense from his perspective. Um, I think he has K45, Smith, Graver, Ledge. I think he's just doing all this, yeah. which it, it is a very efficient route, very dense. Uh, it is, Unfortunately, right? yeah. it's just not going to be the one that works out for him. But um, 
it, you know, that it's just it's rando. It, it is, it is. You try and go for density because the ice rod, you mentioned right before, the reason why we are having ice rod hunts is because the ice rod doesn't lock very many things. It literally just locks the, the, the feet of Trinex, right? Yep. So we can literally be anywhere. So then what's your best play? It is to go for density. Uh, rando, uh, the, further, the, the initial... Mm, theory that maybe everything is on the way for you uh, may not necessarily always hold true, right? And uh, you can't control in this case with the yeah, item play. It's almost right. always the right play to, you know, when you're down to one item, you know, do conscientious skips to assume that you're going to get on the way. But yeah. then when it comes down to a, a hunt like this, all bets are off and it's just, do you chase the density or do you go for the one-off to try to get lucky exactly. or um, density it, is usually the safe play. Yeah, uh, and, and it, yeah, and it's also probably the more... <laughs> <laughs> uh, common play, probably between you know, yourself and your opponent. Uh, Ari saving his three frames, doing the, the clip, uh, somewhat more dangerous. And, and then uh, giving yeah, him back giving on the right bonk. Back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, it's okay. You know what? Uh, speed running, I heard, you know, you save the frames, uh, lose the minutes. Well, it's not quite the minute, obviously, for the bonk, but, you know, that is the relative scale. Of course, we love the big key. We all, we love figuring out what is here in uh, in Left Side Swamp. Is this an item? This is a, well, it is an item. <laughs> All right, one more, one more check to go. The game, you know what? Oh, we are trying to maximize the amount of time and value and content we're getting from the grand finals of A Link to the Past Randomizer. All right, uh, what better way to have it than to get the pseudo vanilla big key from left side in order to go back to the big chest, right? Is this our ice rod or is this going to be powder? We, uh, that's it, right? We don't I, have anything I, else? As far <laughs> as I know, that's what we got here. All right. It is the ice rod. Aries saving his three frames. We got go mode. Uh, what a terrible location <laughs> for this thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, uh, you know, I mean, we have this Specky clip now. If this was pre Specky clip, maybe yeah. you'd do less than a Maybe, yeah. yeah. You're, you're right. You're <laughs> right. You know, uh, every single thing, new technique that's been introduced or legalized, accepted, whatever, you know, in random always has a price to pay. It does change the meta a bit. And uh, we're kind of in this, you know, maybe maybe if this, if this tournament happened last year, you know, this particular thing. Maybe it would have been a different outcome, you know? No, I mean, Aerie hard. doesn't tilt easy, but I think keeping that dash and not canceling it, I think we might see a, a little bit yeah, of uh, we, frustration. Well, like, I, well, it's he doesn't let the show on the on the outside, but like in his play sometimes, you know, you just... It's uh, it can be tough. Aerie played <laughs> it can a, be a seed. Tough game. <laughs> Aerie played basically a seed right before this, right? He got a little bit of a break, you know, got some water, got some, you know, got some throw drops. Uh, he is that seed was like an hour thirty, whatever. Uh, we're looking at the time now. It's kind of the same thing. We've been through the ice rod hunt for quite some time. The mental and the physical toll, I think, is certainly having an impact. And you're Aaron Gomo. You have no idea where your opponent is. When are you gonna get snipes? Uh, your race nerves might be actually kicking in, and if you think about the amount of money that you might be losing <laughs> based on uh, at any point, you know, different decisions, different execution. Uh, did that bonk end up costing me the race? You know, suddenly, suddenly the what ifs can certainly get very overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely, and I think these guys have played eight or nine seeds, uh, depending on who you're talking about, uh, over the past four oh, days. Yeah, um, yeah, that, yeah. Is that is a lot, a lot that of, is a lot of rando. rando. <laughs> Um, and it's I, high pressure yeah. rando too, right? In person, Absolutely. like you're not just. I mean, yes, like that is a sheer number of just like volume wise, a large number of seats. But yeah, yeah. Be, being here and, uh, <laughs> to, to hear the stories going around, I, I don't know the details of every one of the seeds that these runners have played, but uh, it, it has been quite the road for mm -hmm. a lot of these seeds. Uh, it, I mean, we we've, we've seen them today here. They they have. Uh, and quite rough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and so keep in mind that even though, you know, like, uh, in this case, like, let's just say, like, Aerie is defeated, uh, 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 Sierra Life Form, well, is, uh, sorry, un undefeated, even the the win the victories uh, can still be very close, can be very strenuous, and, you know, and, and stressful, right? Because you've, well, if we've seen all the other ice rod hunts, you know, that you've gone, you're really just hoping that you're going to get that before your opponent, right? Um, just, you know, even if you're in go mode, it's never really, like, you can really, I guess, breathe easy until you get Ganon down and you get the dot, well, there's no dot dot here, but, you know, you raise your hand, right? That's the, that's the, that, that's when you can finally relax and get yeah. some relief. Yeah, you know, you, you can be a experienced runner with thousands of races under your belt or, you know, hundreds of restreams, but there is something different when you're playing live on the stage with oh, a yeah. live crowd, money on the line. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I, I will say specifically for Ari and Obscure, who has actually come across, you know, the Atlantic Ocean to come here to participate in SGL, right? Like, uh, well, most of us, I think here, or at least, you know, the vast majority of us are, you know, in rando time zone. We are here in the Eastern time zone. These guys are on European time. They've actually had to adjust, you know, depending for some jet lag, uh, getting accustomed to basically being in a foreign country, right? Not eating, you know, what they're used to, not being in their, well, their normal atmosphere. Right, that in all of these things, you know, end up uh, kind of maybe affecting you know, your performance. That is the ice rod for obscure. He is in go mode. Looks like he is. He has a sign of resignation. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gary with it a is, uh, beautiful uh, poke dash trying next here oh, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean it's tough for Obscure. Um, I, I wonder if he considered making that play earlier and he mm -hmm. just didn't do it. It uh, is, and honestly, like for Obscure, like it is. The one thing I think that he has actually skipped the entirety of the game, you know, the consciously he did not go back for it. Two, two items on left side swamp. He went to go do everything else, right? Eastern Palace, Big E chest, green pendant, landmo, turn in early, uh, ice tea in ice palace, right? All of these things that he had done, he has been super thorough, except for this one thing. And uh, well, I, I, this, mu this might be a motivation. You might have a better understanding of maybe why people just decide to never skip in full play. <laughs> you know, yeah. maybe from personal experience or not. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but here we do see Ari going for GT. Uh, I believe he typically does uh, Stoffel's room first Correct. at mirrors. Yeah. So he uh, is a Dark Link user. Uh, that has been certainly uh, <laughs> quite common among Dark Link users, right? Um, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, but yeah, it looks like Obscure is pretty much one actual like actual go mode turn of work. As in, like all the chests are open, you got all the keys, you literally just go straight to Trinex. Um, it's actually maybe a little bit faster than you might expect, you know, from yeah. even a go mode turn of work. Um, but it is still quite you know a sizable time gap, you know, between Airy and Obscure. Yeah, it takes about three minutes door to door, uh, mm -hmm. give or take, depending on you know little things. So, so that's that how gives long you it takes uh, yeah. if you die to Trinex. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Well, what we're going to see in this case now uh, is it within the realm of GT routing? Maybe. Um, in this case, Aerie is certainly going to take a route uh, that is going to try and mitigate variance. You know, that being said, Obscure does something different, maybe. You know, than uh, what we're might expecting, depending on maybe how he feels since Ice Rod uh, pickup. Uh, we end up might say, oh look, there's powder, right? And that's why you don't fake <laughs> exactly, powder. Exactly, exactly. It's a great lesson. Do not fake powder here. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, a requisite at least one small key from the left side. We just saw that on the torch, for example. Uh, to basically make sure that we ensure at we're going to be able to open uh, the door right after tile room here in compass room. Just like yep. this situation right here, right? So uh, the situation we're trying to avoid is if there's no small key here and the big key is in compass room, uh, that is a multiple minute swing. Uh, basically for those. So yeah. you just want to basically mitigate that situation. Exactly. And, and most um, of the top runners do this route now. So oh you just look at that. Look at that <laughs> nice box. Beautiful. It is. Uh, so you're like, you're not really minimizing the variance against many opponents. You're just, you know, it's kind of accepted that most people are doing that. But um, it does leave the door open to, you know, for somebody to make oh, no. a play, though. Uh, oh, for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. All right. Ari, uh, you just have a small hiccup with the Gibdos. It's, it's, it's fine. Uh, more arrows uh, than we know what to do with. We And we have the big key. Ari has also demonstrated, uh, as per why dark, so many Dark Link users decide to do this route. For better or for worse. All right, for this particular layout, it was the best decision. Yeah, it definitely saves you quite a bit of time on this seed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it actually looks like doesn't, uh, uh, at least given this GT key layout, uh, based on the routing, I'm not sure if there's actually going to be much... I guess like wiggle room for obscure and they're trying to make up some time for uh, for routing wise. Yeah, uh, I mean Ari got the big key as efficiently mm -hmm. as possible, so there's not really any room for makeup there. Mm -hmm. um, Ari already climbing and Ari climbing GT is usually a sight to behold, oh, and yeah. I, I see, you know, no reason that it won't be the case this time. Yeah, and he doesn't even have those like pesky extra hards to slow him down, you know, in in the tournament branch. Normally you're here in NG for you know like 13 hearts, I guess for, for at least for Ari. Uh, and you know, well, we don't. And we're uh, we're we're all just ready to go. Ari is gonna basically show us what the gauntlet is like. You know, temper sword boots, real silver arrows in G1. Yeah, that's not something you really see, but uh, Ari looks like he's got everything under control. All right, that is temp uh, Trinix down though for obscure. He's also gonna start his GT uh, big key search. But it is. I mean, this is. 
As a runner, I would certainly have to imagine this is a very, very tense situation. Um, I think people have mentioned before, uh, not knowing where opponent was maybe makes like the potential snipe, you know, uh, even more impactful at the end. Uh, maybe depending on how far you are in the in, in GT or progress. Uh, but you just gotta play your game at this point, you know, and just hope that you were faster to the ice route than your opponent. Yeah, uh, that that's all you can do is control what you can control, that's and right. what Obscure can control right now is his execution through GT, and he's just gonna hope that he it's enough for him. Yeah, that's right. All right, we're gonna see this part again. It's part of the reason why we're here live with these with Ari and with Obscure. You actually can see how they react, like and even their body language kind of tells you something, right? You know, um, you can actually see maybe how they're reacting to how to keep themselves calm, you know, in the final minutes, basically, of this race. Uh, this race, by the way, has gone on for quite some time. We're hitting, like, the hour 40 mark. We are uh, a few minutes, only a few minutes away done, but, you know, given that this is a casual boost mode, you yeah, know, no, when th there's... This is, yeah, yeah, this right. is... Th people have finished cross keys where the entrances and the keys have shuffled, <laughs> like, in faster times than, you know, than, 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 than seeds like this, so... Yeah, this is, uh, uh, you know, historically long. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we had to do Aga, we had to go... That's true. Well, we didn't have to do every uh, every pendant, but we, we kind of did every pendant. We we pretty uh, much did all of these now. We just didn't beat blind. We yeah. well obscure beat uh, Vitrius. Yeah. Uh, so I mean true, between true. between these guys, I think these pretty much is an all done yeah. scene. Yeah. You know, we you, you didn't have to do Meyer, but it's very likely that you would. Um, it's just you know you double dip Turtle Rock, you double dip Swamp. Yeah. That's it's true. Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh, All right. Oh, uh, Aerie. Aerie getting bullied here by Moldorm. All right. You know, okay, for what it's worth, I think this happened. This <laughs> those, those pesky doors, man. All right. And stairs. Uh, no, no one needs them. We, we're just going to just take elevators you know, throughout like, the entire time. Okay. Moldorm is on the whole other side of the screen. Aerie is... He is... Okay, this is attempt number two. Uh, I wonder if Aerie's just going to relent here or yeah, it's, if... it's possible. Uh, you know, again, you don't know where your opponent is. Um, and at some point, you do have the hook shot. Um, it was certainly very... It was one of our last locations, actually, to go get the hook shot. Uh, and for, oh, my gosh. Oh, no. We're, we're seeing on display, by the way, the reason why Aerie uh, wants nothing to do with Moldorm. Not Moldorm <laughs> 1, not Moldorm 2. I mean, we had to do Moldorm 1, but you can see, you know, especially for NMG, why it's a run killer. Okay, yeah. all right. This is the first th time that we've tried Moldorm 2. We're going to get through the gap. We're going to get our red rupee, I guess, <laughs> to make sure. <laughs> uh, what, what else could we have? I guess we would have got another hard piece or something for a refill. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, we saw the blue cane. Not that that okay, would have really done anything. True. So <laughs> I don't know. I just just uh, for fun, I suppose. Yeah, just for, it's okay. So okay, just in case you know something terrible happens here, which um, you know uh, all all things you know send your you know blesses and good thoughts you know to Ari. Nice triple. That was a triple, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a triple, and okay. it was a uh, nice line up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, did not end yeah. up getting it. All right. So sometimes you just can't get the two cycle, can't control the RNG here, uh, but it looks like certainly a very fast three cycle. All right, Ari is one Ganon fight away uh, from. Winning the grand champion here of a Link to the Past randomizer for SGL. Uh, just keep got under two minutes. Uh, assuming the fight goes well, we don't have a we don't have a million warps. Obscure, on the other hand, he is. I mean, you mentioned this before, right? You can only control what you can control. Obscure is doing everything he probably can uh, to go as fast as possible uh, within the gauntlets. Yeah, uh, The Zyzaks are not behaving though, which it's okay. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. We have actually not that much magic. I don't know if Skier's gonna want to pop a potion, or or just use silvers. Never mind. I forgot we have silvers. <laughs> yeah, he might do it for. I mean, he'll probably at least pick up the magic yeah, pot in the next good room. Point. All right, nice, 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 nice Lambos there on obscure side. Ari is starting out his Ganon fight. Looks great for the one and one setup. We are past phase one and two. Just like at home, just like we've done, you know, every other seed, you know, for uh, for a randomizer. He, Ari, this is certainly not a, well, it's not an uncommon occurrence for Ari to be in the finals. It is certainly probably his first one live, um, but, you know, he's got many, many first place titles, so this is no strangers, uh, no strange situation for him. He's just got to play his game and just, you know, go through the motions of uh, getting through phase three, and then we're going to go four more silver arrows, and uh, we might be crowning a champion very shortly. 
All right, we got we got Torch Cliss. It looks like we're just gonna get one, 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 one. Oh, we got a nice yeah. double. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, that, that was a good for a double. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. All right, Aerie. All right, he's 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 ready. We've got the sword up on Aerie's side. We've got a couple more seconds. He's gonna cross this bridge, and then big Prage on Aerie's side. That's what he's thinking. Don't snipe me. Give your G's out of applause for Aerie, grand champion Great of job. SGL. Beautifully played. Very well done. Huge congratulations for Aerie. Amazing performance. Of course, Game G's on Chat for Obscure. He ran, I mean, man, this race was actually extremely tight the entire time. What a race, dude. What a race. <laughs> Obscure and <laughs> uh, do we actually get to see Triforce text? Did we see that? Yeah, it oh. said the chess we skipped had silver arrows. I, oh, I guess okay. it, they didn't I guess know they didn't, didn't skip no, any no, chess. No. <laughs> uh, no, no. Unfortunately. Come chat. Come chat whenever you guys are ready. <laughs> oh, uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we, we're uh, we're gonna get Aerie. Well, we have Aerie here. We're gonna get Obscure here very shortly. Sit, feel free to join us. Yo, guys, GGs, congratulations. GGs, GGs. well played. Yo, same, same to you. Let them in the middle. Let them in the middle. Okay. We're gonna be twisting right. some wires yeah. here. <laughs> All right, scooch over. <laughs> All right, no tripping. Well, congratulations. Uh, I heard ice rod hunts were really common in Rando. How do you how do you guys feel about doing an ice rod hunt for the finals? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought, like, for the last 40 minutes, like, okay, well, I'm going to see the hand up any moment now. <clears throat> I played somewhat aggressively this seed, and it's like revisiting every single sec, and it not being the ice rod, it's just like, oh, no. <laughs> So yeah. Yeah. I think this early game was like really, really rough. It just took forever to find anything. Once you found those mitts, you're kind of like, okay, the seeds finally opened up to me. I'm like one item, maybe two from go mode. It's like, I, let's go. Yeah. 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 So once I find me, it's 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 so hard to go back into left left side side spawn. Like everything's open. I felt like I could be pretty aggressive because I didn't really feel good about my early route. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of speechless. I I really didn't expect this. It, it was it was actually very interesting. Yeah, you know. So Ari, you mentioned that you were pretty aggressive. So uh, one of the first things I think you did was skip Eastern Palace, Vicky Chest, um, Obscure. Uh, you decided to you know venture in, and you found the, you found the bug net. Uh, it was good, at least. <laughs> it was a unique <laughs> item. Uh, Ari ended up skipping. Uh, what did you end up skipping? Ice tea, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. um, later on, uh, and I think one of the things that maybe you also did consciously over Ari potentially is green pendant uh, landmo early, right? Um, any particular thoughts about that? You just wanted to be there, clear it out. Because you were certainly very much more thorough uh, than Ari was basically the entirety of the seed. Ex <laughs> except you both skipped left side swamp and it, you know, well, we, we saw what happened, you know, for that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I figured glove, I mean, open village of outcast and stuff, but I was there, I was just like, let's just get this done, see what it is, and then don't have to worry about it anymore. Mm -hmm. No, very understandable. In fact, Ari, um, okay, one of the commentators, I won't name names, uh, did uh, make a theory that <laughs> uh, that uh, Ari would not ever go back to Pendant Lamo uh, in this case. You know, it turns out um, that was actually revisited uh, just based on, you know, how, uh, yeah. But it was certainly, yes, quite the, quite the hunt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, know, I, I don't know, it was just, I'm trying to process everything and you, you guys, though, execution-wise, though, you played extremely well. I mean, uh, I think all of just, yeah, given basically, like, your journey in here, even, like, the game itself, right? And so I know that uh, you were like, luckier up here because you got two-hour break. I don't know what you ended up doing in a two-hour break, but you <laughs> did get a break. Uh, Ari, of course, played a uh, pretty long seed right before this. And, of course, um, yeah. I think we also talked to, you know, you guys playing four, how many how many matches you guys played in four days? Eight, nine? A lot, yeah. Eight, yeah, uh -huh. this was eight. Yeah, uh-huh, so... It's, uh, I mean, and for, so you, for your performance here today, it was uh, very, very spectacular. Yeah, the so, performance yeah. in this the last seed was definitely a little bit lower, and I noticed myself getting more and more drained. 
<clears throat> but yeah, <laughs> and I, I, in the end, I can't complain. Like once I was in Gauntlet, and right before Modern Two, like I did look over and I saw the the GT flashing, so I knew okay, I'm in good shape now. <laughs> <laughs> I so see. that kind of relieved the nerves. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. Uh, I think a little you, bit of metagaming. Okay, all right, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, because I think you fell to, well, uh, it, was a count times. it was a countable number of times, yeah. that's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we don't have to necessarily worry about that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but I mean, like, like I said, the execution was very, very good. Um, stylistically, like, uh, I think, yeah, you remember me just a bit more thorough. I think at the end, though, if you decided to go into Swamp versus, let's say, Smith Chain, uh, would have been super super close. Not that you would, right? Uh, no, you, you wouldn't. Don't, like, yeah, but it's. What you know. would? What was your GT route? Uh, stop. Yeah, DM to right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I felt pretty good about finding Bicky by going Stealthus to right. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, I'm not exactly sure how obscure routes, but if he goes hope left, then I gain a significant amount of time. But I mean, this is like a stellar performance uh, result by both of you. I, uh, I, we are, I mean, you guys are champions among champions. Uh, you have multiple titles. Pure, of course, main tournament winner. Uh, really, actually, glad to see you here live. I didn't actually realize you were going to come here at SGL 2023. And look at you now. You know, you got second place here at SGL. Like, obviously, you did something good. Yeah. I joined the tournament very last minute. I'm here to see all these people I don't usually hang out with. So. I joined last minute, I thought I'll play a few games, I'll be knocked out in the group stages, but here I am right at the end, so. <laughs> Is that how you do the main tournament out of curiosity? You're like, I'll just join, you know, play a couple games, get knocked out, and then you just go the rest of the way. That's you do, <laughs> you, you join these tournaments, because there's people like him who join, and you know you have no hope. <laughs> I've never won a main tournament, so. You won every other tournament, you've got to leave <laughs> some for other people. <laughs> yeah, the main tournament, and, and league, so. You know, but yeah, I, I'm I'm super stoked that I managed to just have this kind of as my final tournament and then be able to go undefeated. But yeah, with the amount, like with the new implementation of fast rounds, it's gonna be hard to switch between that and NG. So I'm gonna focus on NG for the foreseeable future. It's all good. I mean, if you're gonna pick one event to go out on, uh, why not have it with a c actual, you know, hard cash prize? Um, you guys are both coming up from Europe, so maybe this will incentivize you to come back next year. You know, uh, I heard there probably will be a prize pool next year as well. You know. So yeah. yeah. Possibly. We'll possibly. see. Yeah. I mean, if, as, I, I, from a personal note, like I think it's really, really. Um, wonderful that you have, we have so many international visitors. I mean, I was always like, there, there's like West Coast people who are maybe also still native to the United States, uh, but they still have a track. But I mean, like coming over from Europe across the ocean is like a tremendous amount of effort and time. So really, really appreciative of everybody who comes over here. Of course, Eric, you come from Germany, it's slightly further east, I guess. But I mean, you know, at that point, it's kind of inevitable. But yeah. yeah, really, really happy to basically see both of you here. Really appreciative. Yeah, yeah that's really the cool part about this. Like joining a tournament you kind of go in with no expectations it's just fun to jam a few seats but just meeting everybody like seeing actually putting a faces and a personality to just a name that you see on the internet that's like really the best part and that's what makes it so worth coming here yeah well, that's great everyone's here basically happy to see you today. yeah everyone's been so friendly here like it's such a great community you know people you don't even talk to online you you see here and they're just like hey how are you doing you strike up conversations so just thank you and shout out to the whole uh, Link to the Past randomizer community. Like, it's amazing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you hear this? So much support. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, speaking of, uh, we have our tournament admins, uh, Herfy Durfee and Dante. Uh, they're actually going to give you the details of uh, the, the, the tournament results. Uh, do, you want the, do you want the cheat sheet? Uh, sure. Okay. I will be stealing your microphone, then we're going to actually tell you to get out. Well, okay. <laughs> well, let, let, me, let me get out right now. <laughs> yeah. Instead of kneeling again and making it look like I'm asking everyone to marry me, <laughs> I will instead just, I will instead sit down and look like a normal person for a change. So uh, both me and Dante are here uh, on behalf of Speed Gaming presenting you guys with your trophies. So uh, on behalf of Speed Gaming, once again, congratulations on your awesome run, both of you. Uh, you did a great job. You defeated a lot of hefty opponents, 
and uh, I think you deserve everything that's on this little cheat sheet here. <laughs> so uh, for the second place, it says it's about $565, let's say. And for first place, it's a whopping 1400 and a little bit of change on top of that. So <laughs> big round of applause for that. Of course, uh, in the same vein, thanks to all the donators. As these guys have already said, thank you for so graciously donating your money that we can uh, pay these two awesome players and a couple more. So, yes. How much is that in euros? Uh, pretty much the same. Almost exactly the same right now. Yeah. So um, here, this is yours, Obscure. Congratulations again on your second It's a place. bit less than pounds, and, uh, though. GGs. <laughs> and now I'll pass it over to Dante. Uh, I just want to say that you know both of these guys are fantastic runners. Um, you look out in the crowd right now, and there's probably a ton of people, half of them at least could be on the stage right now if the items fell right, because everyone here is so good. This is definitely the most stacked field we have had at Speed Gaming Live uh, in the three years in person. Let's keep that hype building up and going. Uh, but, um, Ari, congratulations, my friends. Uh, this is your trophy, and uh, celebrate it, man. I sure will. Thank you so much. I really would like to also thank the entire Random Analyzer community um, over the past six years that I've been playing this game. It's kind of weird to hear myself double a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I've met so many people and made so many friends. And yeah, the opportunity to actually come here and meet them, it's, uh, it's super valuable to me. So thank all of you. All right, well, I guess uh, we will let Obscura talk. We can turn it back over to the comms to close out after her, yes. if you want to do that. So, Obscura, the floor is yours. Yeah, I, I just want to say, Eri, like, on behalf of, I'm sure, of the whole community, just it's been amazing being with you. You're an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal rando player and NMG player. It's been an absolute pleasure to race you today, race you for the past year. So thank you so much for everything you've done for this community. And you will be so missed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you, Herbie. Thank you, Dante. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, okay. I think we're just going to wrap up real Thank you so much again for being here, Obscure and Eric. Big congratulations, obviously, to Eric, our grand champion winner. And of course, Obscure. I mean, this is uh, an absolute Titan's feat in order to be here. Uh, knock out so many. I think you mentioned tough opponents. I also, I personally also want to say, um, you guys, I mean, I think you represent um, a lot of the good characteristics and qualities of the randomized community. Many people look up to you guys. I mean, whether or not. You guys are considered role models, um, as, uh, people who other people aspire to be, to be like. You represent very, you know, great to totems of the community. And it's just so heartwarming to be able to see that you two here are the finals and to have such a great result for Aerie, especially to be representing this. So really, really happy, you know, for, for the results. Thanks so much. That it is that means just a lot. wonderful. <laughs> so. Uh, and of course, you know, of course, SGL is going to happen next year. Uh, so, for, you know, as Dante said, lots of really strong runners. This is a great, great community. So please come back and, you know, have fun. Uh, so thank you so much for, for participating. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank Korik, uh, co-commentator for the finals. It was a ton of fun. Thank you so much. It was, <laughs> I'm really it was a great race. Yeah. Pleasure to commentate, guys. It was. Guys. Mm -hmm. and of course, thank you so much, Stump, our tracker. He was. Uh, yeah. He 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 actually paid attention to the race. <laughs> and clicked everything <laughs> for us. So thank you so much. Yeah. This has been an absolute blast. Uh, yeah. We definitely look forward to seeing you next year. But I think at least for the tournament itself, uh, we are a wrap. So have a great night, everyone. Until then. Any other thoughts? <laughs> <laughs>